I've been looking forward to today for like, I don't know, four months? The classic competition, which is going to be the second half of this stream, goes all the way back to like mid-April when all this stuff actually got started. So it's really exciting to see that come to fruition. But first, we're going to round our round in and call the wild. I wanted to do Emerald Coast. I was trying to decide like, do we want to grind moose? Do we want to try black bear? And frankly, we mostly spent the last week on Way of the Hunter, so I wanted to take a slow getting back to the game, because if we were to try grinding today, we'd probably be missing a lot of shots. This isn't Ticket Moon Plains, I know, we've had so much Ticket Moon Plains content, though. I, I could absolutely go back right now, I could, but I think it's good to give it a little bit of a break. That map is loaded with big males, and I'm hoping it's like a little bit of like, uh, almost initial spawn luck, because if the genetics stay that good, Five stars might not be quite as special, but the rares, I mean, have you guys seen the albino lions? They're pretty good. Is your voice dead? I don't think so. Is your voice dead? What's up, Bree? Hey, K-Flow. All the flints are faithful. Melting down here in Louisiana. Yeah, it's, uh, I know down south it's pretty hot. It's okay here. Humid, but, you know, that's just been life since, I don't know, middle of June. It's just been humid, raining forever. How many moose kills in total? Like 4,000, but I haven't messed with Revan Tuli like since that stream. A few hours here and there. What's up, Andrew? How long of a stream are we talking? I don't know. Four hours, maybe? Could end up being three, three and a half. It just depends. If Emerald Coast is kind to us, we'll do a full two hours here on Call of the Wild. If Emerald Coast is not kind to us, we might cut it short at like an hour and a half. Jump into Classic. That could go an hour and a half, two hours. I have no idea. We're gonna, we're gonna let the stream take us where it may. Uh, Wander, thank you so much for the Super Jam, man. Really appreciate it. I don't think any game is going to beat Ticket Moon Plains anytime soon. It is pretty darn good. I think it's going to be hard to top. The only, like... Not even concern I have. The only low point for me on, on Ticket Moon is I do feel like there's really good starting genetics. And maybe that was the case with Nez Perce and Aurora Shores in Transylvania, and I just didn't know how to play the game. I kind of think it might be that, but I have found a lot of five stars. Are the rare, are the rare lions of Ticket Moon albino or leucistic? So they had leucistic in the patch notes, but everybody that's killing them, it says albino on the harvest screen. Um, I'm trying to remember. They have pink eyes, do they not? Like they're the first one, albino red deer, albino white tail, um, albino... Eh, I don't know about the wood bison, but the first two have blue eyes, which is weird. Holy, what's going on, Robbins? So which is your favorite Call of the Wilder Way the Hunter? It's gonna be an unsatisfying answer. Wandre, thank you again for the super chat. Oh, I, I totally agree. Five star kudu are beautiful. They look so, so good. Um, to answer your question, Robbins, it depends on the time of year. Like right now, I could play Way the Hunter probably like eight, ten, 10 hours a day and just have a blast because basically like in the lead up to hunting season, I'm looking for that true to life hunting simulation. I'm looking for that challenge. Like, I want to simulate hunting as best I can. Way the Hunter is better for that. In two months, you'll probably see Way the Hunter content on my channel slow way down as real life hunting season kind of picks up because you get home from hunting for, who knows, maybe 12 hours, a six hour day, however long you're hunting. It's maybe less appealing to run around for hours and see just a couple of animals. So it really does depend on the time of year. What's up, Fins? Uh, just joined, how are you, and what did I miss? We literally have made one shot on a feral goat, and it seems to be, like, a pretty poor shot, but I'm doing good. Um, we're through most of, like, the chaotic, stressful stuff now here for a little while. My brother's wedding was Saturday. That went really well. Kyla's sister got home super late last night because her flight got delayed, like, three hours. But she was here visiting. She watched the dog during the wedding. All the travel and wedding such things are behind us. And I'm kind of looking forward to, actually, a couple of things. I just remember, too, Madden 24, if you, like, pre-ordered it or however it works, it releases tonight. I'm going to mess with that a little bit, probably after the stream. It's the weird, I have never heard of a game coming out at, like, 8 p.m. Literally never. I have no idea why <laughs> why they did that, but um, it'll work out, because right after the stream, mess around with that. going to be fun. Are you still hungover? I actually wasn't even hungover... Uh, yesterday morning, I got pretty, I had a few, <laughs> so there is a hayride for like, I don't know, two plus hours, and there were, there were many beverages upon this hayride, 
that part got interesting. I, my speech, I had no nerves. You can, what did we just? Did we hit the hill? That went well. Anyway, you can imagine why there were no nerves. But it worked out good. Everybody said it was good. So I think it was for the best. Baja Blast? Yeah, totally. They're actually, they did have Mountain Dew, a, uh, what do they call them? Mountain Dew Sour Apples. I did try one of those. It was quite good. Danny, thank you for the super chat. Got my bow back. Beautifully restrung. Only downside is I can't find a stabilizer bolt for the life of me to fit my bow. Plus going back to college tomorrow. Do you know like the size that you need at least? No nerves, you're lucky you got out two words. Dude, so I le so legit. I'm telling you. I got off the hayride. Because we had, it was just like beers on the hayride. It was fine. And then we went past one of my brother's groomsman's wife's sister's house. That got chaotic. And she just comes running out and meets us on the hayride with a bottle of tequila. Like, okay, that's good. So we all passed that around. And then I realized we're like almost at the venue. And I'm going to have to do my speech like soon. And I'm like, oh boy. I don't even know if I can talk. So, I got up there, I read the speech. In my mind, it went fine. So, but I didn't know, like, you know how it is. So I leaned over to my brother and I go, did I sound drunk? And he goes, no, you were fine. Like, thank God, okay. But I, I got so many compliments that it was good. And I promise it would have been a hundred times worse if I sounded nervous. What monitor size to use? I think my main is 27. And then the two side ones I use for, like, streaming stuff are 24. Angelic, thank you so much for the super chat. Can't stay on, it's not as sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope he feels better. I did want to stop by and say hi and wish you luck. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it and hope your son feels better soon. Never any fun, especially with like... It's always like you'd rather be sick, right? Because you feel so bad like trying to take care of someone when you can't make them better. <laughs> That's hilarious. It was it was a really good time. Like, um, Pretty good size wedding. I think they had... Ooh, there's a max weight fox track. I think they had 260 people or something like that there. But, you know, after dinner and everything, I just went around visiting with people. I enjoyed it, which surprised me. Dude, I did hear that, too. That is the most insane thing I've ever read in my life. Recite the best man speech right now? Okay, so it went something like this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll tell it later. What are the odds? What's up, pizza? Do you have a great one, Moose, yet? I do not, and, um... My current level of Moose grinding suggests it may take a while, because I have not been putting in the time. With Way the Hunter stuff going on, the classic Summer Fiesta creator competitions, I just haven't done much Moose grinding at all. Probably gonna troll. It is not a good estimate. 12 to 14 is not ideal. Red Foxes aren't, like, big trolls, though. It doesn't happen super often. Shoot that with a 30-30 or bad? Hmm. Alright, fine. Convince me. I've been here for five minutes? Oh. The fact that we've been live for ten seems even more crazy than that. Just join us in level nine? What are the odds of that? I don't think I've... Have we shot a level nine on Emerald Coast? Because we, we've killed a bunch of foxes. And every time we track, like, a big one... A heavyweight one, I mean... It always ends up being a level 7 and it scores 12 and then we get led to a trophy of some other kind. It's worked out well for us. Got the model 86. Let's get the ammo. Which is... Did I miss it? I gotta make sure I get the right ones. And the scope. It actually may work out too. It depends on if we can spot him in the distance, but... It might not be terrible that we just kind of fast traveled away from him. He could potentially calm down and be staying broadside. Is the angler coming to console this month? I think it was supposed to. I haven't heard a thing. I forgot about the stream. Does long stream mean four hours? We'll see. I said at the beginning, if Emerald Coast is kind to us, it could be. So it's either going to be this. It'll be two hours of Call of the Wild, two hours of Classic. Or if Emerald Coast is just kind of boring, we might do an hour and a half and an hour and a half or something like that. Not a good estimate. I, I I choose to believe he's gonna be 14.9. Gonna be a big male. What's up, Miro? I got two four-star mature capes. Ah, uh, that scored away. In next door herds, I want at least one to make five. My impression of like Tikka Moon Plains, because you know how the requirements for five star are higher on the map, and I think that's good. I think what happens is these animals live for so long. Cape Buffalo are 25, Gemsbuck are 20, Wildebeest are 20. 
you still get five stars in the 80-ish percent range. So honestly, if you have a couple four star matures, I wouldn't be shocked if at least one makes it. Okay, that's level four male, so that's the wrong group, because I think it was a female they called. Got a 47 albino lion. Oh, nice, man. 47 is like, what, big gold, right? Is Sticky Moon Plains good? I would probably argue it's the best Africa map in a hunting game, but I love Verhunga Savannah. I was going to do Verhunga today, because I, I thought about trying to compare them, but I really, I don't like to compare the two games. I, I, it, you can't help but make one, whoops, screwed that up. You can't help but make one game sound worse than the other. When that's not what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to compare and contrast. 175 Whitetail, not bad. Did I miss anything interesting? We just spotted a level 9 Red Fox, and I don't know why, but Danny said to shoot it with a 30-30, and I listened. <laughs> so we're going to try to do that. I don't think we've ever done that, so that could be a first. Maybe we should put the gun together, so if he shows up, we can get him. If you win that nepotism, I don't get to choose nothing. I did do what I think is going to be a long-ish video. I basically got hunted Red Feather and Timber Gold. And I just tried to talk about, like, you know, where I would hunt, how I would approach it, and all that stuff. Just for people who maybe aren't as familiar with Classic, but still want to do the competition. So I'm hoping that can be helpful. That's going to be out tomorrow. Will you do a guide for your Classic Comp? Yet, yeah, good <laughs> timing on that question. More or less, the video I was just talking about is going to be a guide. So they were running... Where did we come from? We were all the way down. That's going to be his tracks... So it depends on if they just turned back or not, but we might just be able to spot them. What I'd like to do is not spook them, because if they're in an even semi-decent spot here, it's pretty open. But they don't have to run too terribly far until they're in that thick brush again. Kind of getting to that point that if we get a fox track, it's probably them. Wouldn't be shocked at all if they just turned around either. Is a 518 kangaroo big? It's really big. They only get up to 530. How many level 9 Red Fox do you have? Uh, maybe 6 or 7. Well, Diamonds, 6-ish. Level 9 is probably close to 10. I've had a fair few trolls, even though I just did a little bit ago they don't troll that often. I'm trying to I'm trying to wish him to be a Diamond. Goats out there. If we gotta go back and get the tracks, that's fine. We had spotted him, like the place I marked is where we last spotted him. Just joined up and missed anything. Uh, we've got a level 9 Red Fox that we're chasing. We're going to try to get him with a 30-30. We're also going to try to figure out actually where he is. Probably his track here? That of the female he's with. Nope. Okay. More foxes around here than I thought. Shoot the 9 with the 300 mag? I feel like if I did that, it would be a diamond. And if I don't, he'll be a troll. Okay, that's his track. So we might spook him, we might not. The wind is good to follow him from behind. Just depends on how uh, vigilant we are as we run through. Best WC being white telegun in Call of Duty. I'm guessing that's what you're saying. Uh, I mean, the 308 AR is really good. The 7 mil, the bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack, also a really good option. One of two things has happened here. Either he's... Oh, there's a the track. I was going to say, either he's still going, or as soon as we fast travel, he warped. But the thing is, like, we've got feral goats, we've got kangaroos, there's all these tracks. This will happen a lot when you're tracking stuff. If you suddenly just have your tracks disappear, generally just keep moving in the direction they're going, and you'll stumble into one. But when there's a bunch of stuff around, when you've got herds of other animals, it does something... Like, the game can only display so many tracks, and it can lead to this thing where, like, you don't have your animal's tracks for hundreds of meters? Okay, I think that was with our nine, wasn't it? I'm gonna just spot all these real quick. Make sure there's nothing. It, they should be together. But maybe somehow the nine was further up? Because I think it was a level four. And I, it was also that, like, orange variant. I am shooketh. Do you think I should get Way the Hunter? Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was on sale recently. It might still be on sale. 
my personal opinion is that it's absolutely worth full price. But especially if you can get it on sale, like, even if you're maybe not the biggest fan of it, maybe you're more into Call of the Wild like a faster paced hunting game and that's absolutely fine, but especially for the sale price, even if you don't love it, I still think you're going to get your money's worth. That's got to be him. Don't spook. He's right at like 150. We can do that. Nice. That could have taken way longer. The last level 9 Red Fox we tracked for like an hour and a half across Hirschfeld. Not bad. Am I drunk or is this not on Reventuli? It is not on Reventuli. Did I put Reventuli in the thumbnail? I think I did Emerald Coast. I could have put Reventuli. Flopped him? Nice shot, thank you. Just had to be quick. Gotta not think about it. You can overthink... Huh, I didn't realize this water was moving. You can overthink shots on small games so easily. Just gotta trust it. Wait, the Hunter's on sale to the 17th. Yeah, I would 100% recommend picking it up. Alright. Vital Blood. 12 to 14. Dark Red's the first type that we get the most diamonds of. Ah, so close. Actually, it's about 0.1 away. He's The weight's there. 14 plus kilo. Shot him in the heart and everything with the 30-30. Come on, game. You can't just troll us when we <laughs> shoot a level 9 fox with the 30-30. It was to be expected with the estimate. I still wanted to believe. Well, now we have a 30-30 for the rest of the day. I guess we're shooting goats with that. Favorite map? I mean, Layton's my all-time favorite, so... I don't think that's ever going to change. I've really been enjoying... Like, when I go back to Silver Ridge Peaks for Plains Bison and stuff, that's been a bunch of fun. What's up, Johnny? Smaller than average big male, that was just like a... That was like an okay male. Meh male. Told you should have shot him with the 300? You're right. Do I even have it? What do I have? Nope. Seven mils as big as we have. Can't wait for Madden to drop. I'm excited to just kind of check it out, see how it is. I don't expect it to be, you know, mind-boggling. It'll be a Madden game, but I think it'll be fun. I want to do that, like, NFL prediction content with it, and maybe I'll do a practice round in the preseason just to kind of work out how we're going to do that. I want to discuss your merch line. 200 kills in my bear grind. I got a great one bear. You got one in 200 kills? That's, that's wow. Congrats. I got a 9.4% moose yesterday. 10% or under is indeed quite rare. I've had maybe two or three of them ever in like, whatever, almost 500 hours. I think I have an 8% mule deer. And I, I want to say I have a 9-ish something percent moose too. Or maybe an elk. No way the hunter today, not today. We've done so much Ticket Moon Plains content. I wanted to get back on Call of the Wild. Just, you know, ease ourselves back into it, do something nice, get trolled by a Red Fox 12 seconds in, nothing like it. Just, just Call of the Wild doing Call of the Wild things. And then, yeah, my classic competition is today. I'll talk about that a little bit here, too, since we're getting into the stream a bit. My kind of goal for this competition, outside of hopefully providing a, a fun little competitive thing to do in classic, is to see if we can get the best participation community-wide. I, I think it would be hilarious if we could actually outdo the Mega Saver Comp, the big Summer Fiesta competition. There's 1,015 in that. Last I checked, there were like 150 enrolled in, in the Flinter Comp. It's under multi-species, yeah. I know, every, all the other creator comps were listed. Mine's not in the regular thing. But if you click multi-species, it's down there. Black Bear, great one should be a hunt you think about. It is a hunt I think about. It's just, what's difficult is like making content on it. it. It's not difficult necessarily to do like a moose run or whatever for content because it's daylight. It's pretty fast paced. You're gonna shoot a fair number of animals. And I think most people enjoy that kind of stuff. When it comes to bears, like a, a lot of people just don't wanna watch night hunting. And it's not necessarily because it's the actual act of night hunting. It's really, best I can tell, a matter of, on a stream especially, you just can't see well. It's blurry. Managed to get a five-star lion and an albino lioness from the same pride within minutes of each other. Call that Flinterlock? Nice, man. I'm still waiting on our lions to get to five-star. I have not seen an albino anywhere. 
It's confirmed Kyle is leaving you for Taylor Swift? I know, as soon as as soon as Tay Tay agrees. I'd answer, but my laptop crapped out. No worries, man. So angry my computer broke just before the classic competitions. It feels like that's the way with stuff, you know? You love night hunting? I I don't like night grinding per se, but I do generally enjoy night hunting. It's actually like I don't like it if I have to do it for something. Does that make sense? But it, I kind of do like just wandering around, exploring a night hunt, whatever's there. Or even like wolf drink zones back in the day. That's kind of fun. What time the Red Fox drink? They, is it 1700 to 2000 hours, I think? I was so hyped I wrote the competition on my calendar. Nice. Have you have you gotten to play for it yet? Last I checked, first place was 548 or something. I hunted for two and a half hours and I didn't enter the competition, but I did the math. I'd be in second place if I was doing it with like 541. That was a 216 mule deer, a 165 whitetail, and a 160 blacktail. Like very run-of-the-mill stuff. What's up, Kiwi? Getting really mad at the stupid game I'm making? If I had to guess, it's your typical coding or game development strugs, and I can only imagine how much more of a strug that is than like any of the basic level stuff I've ever done. This is a nice fur. I like the red one. The one we got on Hirsch was, I think, orange. And then obviously we have dark reds. We don't have a red diamond either. What GPU do you have in your PC? It's a 3060. In my state, at least, I haven't been on a hunt yet, but I plan to tree stand for Muley tonight after work while I edit. Oh, nice. Oh, you're talking about the coyote thing. Second half, I got you. Or the first half. This isn't Ticket Moon Plains? It isn't? Are you sure? I think it is. What's up, Junk? I hope the practice arrows are shooting straight these days. I'll tell you what, this last week I haven't shot my bow as much as I would have liked to. I need to get back at it. I actually, um... I'm shooting VPA broadheads again this year, but I'm not sure which ones. I know they came out with a new type of broadhead, and they were maybe going to see if we wanted to do review videos, so I think TK is doing one, and I was just like, I, without having ballistic gel or something, it's really hard to be like, hey, this broadhead's sharp. It flies good. Buy it. Like, I want to have results or something, so I basically said I'd use them for the season, but I don't know if like they're going to do that or not. So I gotta get my broadheads, do broadhead tuning, and be ready to go, because we're supposed to be in Kentucky, probably in a tree stand, this time next month. Or actually in a saddle. Story? <laughs> uh, are you gonna do multiplayer and classic? I can. Uh, it doesn't make any difference to me, because I'm not doing the competition. My main goal with classic is to kind of hunt around for the species that, you know, are in the competition. Now the competition is single player only. So that's worth knowing if you plan to participate in it. But yeah, since I'm not doing the comp, I could host. So are you gonna do IRL hunting videos? Yes. Um, I need to, maybe this week I'll get back to editing. I gotta get those done before this season starts. I still have like at least four from last season to do. And then we'll be filming again this year. This will be our... This blows my mind. This will be our fifth season of filming. I feel old. If you're talking about the VPA Omegas, then you should get some just because. I absolutely love them. I'll likely put them on my... Put on... Wait, what? I'll likely put them on maybe in my catalog this year? I think I understand what you're saying, but I'm confusing my own wording. Um, I think that's what they're called. Either way, yeah. I mean, I just want to check with them because they gave us a discount code last year. VPA... They're like the nicest people. If you are out there looking for broadheads, for one, great product. Like machine steel, ev from my experience, super consistent. They fly really well. There's minimal broadhead tuning, knock tuning, whatever you want to call it, that you have to do with them. Uh, I shot the single bevel inch and an eighth cutting diameter last year. Shot that buck in West Virginia. He ran like 100 yards. Um... My brother shot three blades, and they flew really nicely, even out to like 50 yards, which was impressive. I don't know which I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot this year for sure, but I just wanna check with them, like, hey, like, am I supposed to use these broadheads? Do you want me to buy other ones? Because I will happily support them, like, no problem. 
I hate that nine fox. I do too now. Uh, going on a black bear hunt this spring. That's cool. Is that going to be over bait? Or I don't even know how else you hunt black bear in the spring. I've only seen that done over bait. Should go on an antelope hunt in New Mexico? I think that'd be a cool state to do it in. Probably a toasty state to do it in. Where is West Virginia? Well, so it's like west of Virginia. Um, <laughs> I don't know how else to just, like, uh... Let's say 10 hours south of New York. You probably know where New York is. How's that? Western side of New York. Go straight south like 10 hours. You'll be in West Virginia. Gonna help Black Grouse in September? Honestly, I had no idea those existed until Revan to the Coast, and I think they are so cool. West Virginia's near some country roads? John Denver will tell you. Ask him. Oh! Where did you hunt it? In West Virginia. I, did it autocorrect to is? I think. Bottom Boy always has a better answer than me. It's like... What? It's the... Something about the Kanawha River and where it empties into... I wish he was here to tell me. Because I... You know, I'm not trying to give away someone else's honey hole, right? So, I won't get super specific. It's not far from the Ohio border. You should do a vid or a series about playing on. The anticipation's killing me. <laughs> Ever done a shotgun slug hunt? Like in game or in real life? Because in game, we've done a couple of videos of that. In real life, I don't think I have ever fired a shotgun slug. It was a consideration when we were really young. Like, you know, I'm not exactly known for being a huge male now, but when I was like 10, I was a very small lad. And the options were like, because we had a 410 for squirrel hunting. And dad was basically trying to decide between like, should we get like a 243, a small deer rifle, or were we going to use 10 gauge slugs? And we went with the 243, so I never have fired one. I'll play on console for a bit. The problem is I don't have like the, the means to record that. I have only slug on a video southeast Minnesota, that's all that's allowed. It's so, it's, I always find it interesting. One state to the next, like how different the regulations are, whether it's the bag limits or weapon restrictions or how long the seasons run, everybody does it so differently. Why are we getting me in the gym? Real life slug in an enclosed stand will definitely get your ears ringing, I would imagine. Boo, get to classic already. Can you imagine if I did classic first? There'll be seven people there by the time Call of the Wild starts. <laughs> What's up, Joe? We we did have a good weekend. It was it was nice to have Kyla's sister here visiting. She watched the dog while we were at my brother's wedding. Wedding went well. I would say successful weekend. Finally, I, we have not shot a thing in a while. I've been, I've been wondering where all the animals were. Diamond Bantanger responding? I don't know that it's that. I think it's like... I think the requirement should just be different. Because level 4s make it too often. But I get what you're saying. Do you fish in real life? Yes. One of those things like at the range, do you ear pro and then some... Oh, somebody in the stand in the moment? Like having... Are you saying have earplugs in your stand so you can stick them in when a deer shows up? That's how I'm reading that. Just found a 3-star adult black wildebeest. Nice. I think Pizza had a four-star adult, and I really wonder if that's a bug. Favorite weapon? I have a hard time answering this because I like a lot of them, but the uh, the 308 AR is something we've used a ton lately, just because the fallow grind. So obviously, I like that a lot. I'm a huge fan of the seven mil bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack. Maybe favorite all time would be the seven mil break action. Because, you know, we shot things like our super rare moose with that. Back in the day, that was the diamond weapon. That, like, K okay, buffalo, moose, uh... I don't know if water buffalo by then it might have changed, but big stuff. Like, you used the 7mm. It was more accurate to make those spine and hard shots. 7mm, that's the only answer until they added 12mm. Although, there is a 12 gauge. 
Is that pronounced just Joseph? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. When that rack steps out, you barely hear the bang. That's the thing. You gotta be... You gotta be cognizant of that. KC Farm found a four-star at all Warthog. How interesting. It almost... Like, it. it's counterintuitive to me. S some of the way that the aging works on Tekken Moon Plains, because... What you generally see with some other species that have, like, a fairly long maturity cycle... Red Deer is the best example. You can have two-star mature Red Deer that get to five-star. A lot of times, you know, any of these species that have those long maturity cycles, they are only one or two stars at mature, and then they ramp it up as they go through those, you know, maybe up to ten years of maturity. Animals on Tickamoo Plains, they seem to be three or four stars by the time they hit mature, and then they're mature for ten years. So, like, a lot of them get to five-star. Casey actually shot a five-star chat. Were you, well, you were, maybe you were addressing chat. <laughs> what monitor do you use and what size? I'm getting a new computer and can't decide. So I have a, I don't, I don't even know the exact, it's an Acer 27-inch monitor. It was the, well, it is a 4K monitor and it was like refurbished. So I think it was a $700 monitor that I got for 400 bucks or something. I currently just have the native resolution set to 1080p because I make videos in 1080, I stream in 1080. There's not much point adding the additional work of the computer having to downscale. So, did I need to buy a 4K monitor? I don't know. I played some stuff in 4K. I enjoyed it. But I don't get much out of that. But I've had... How long have I had it now? Since before I got into my apartment. That's going to be well over five years ago and it's absolutely no problem still going strong like I said refurbished and all where did Schuster come from I don't remember exactly but if I if if, if I remember right kind of like how that started if I had to guess even back when Jaxie and I used to stream together literally every single week this this Monday stream at 3 p.m. Eastern the reason for that day and time is because back in the old days when I lived at my parents' house, our internet was so bad. There was no, there wasn't even a dream of live streaming on that internet. It was so, so slow. So what we did was Jaxie would stream to my channel, like his perspective. So, you you know, if he used binoculars, you'd see him using binoculars. If he shot something, you'd see him, like his crosshairs on the animal, right? And then I'd be in Discord with him and I'd address chat and, you know, like alerts and everything that happened. Because he was in Canada, or Vancouver, specific, doesn't matter, but he's in Canada, he's specifically in Vancouver, West Coast time zone, three hours behind me, that was starting at noon his time, so that is the origin of, like, the streams. He and I would just goof around and say stuff stupidly, you know, shoot instead of shoot, and many other such things like that, and it just kind of, it started at that, the Schuster Army thing, like, the reason it really stuck, Zaggy and I did these competitions, and we were trying to come up with, like, hashtags or whatever for, you know, like, people in the comments could be like, you know, go to Zaggy's video, like, hey, hashtag Team Flinter or whatever. And because we had this stupid shoes joke going on, we did a shoes to army thing, and now it's, like, the entire channel. I use Walker's earbuds, that way I can still hear things, and when the gun goes off, they cut the sound. Oh, nice. Do they, are they, like... They're somehow electronic, I guess, right? Best spot for sandbars. So if you go during their drink time, uh, this lake is nuts. You see all these drink zones here? It's kind of like an L-shaped lake. Where's it at? This lake is really good. And then like the creek, river, whatever you want to call it, all the way through here, loaded with sandbar. Tons of them. I think... Do we run past the thing? It's nice having hunting pressure. I'm so used to weigh the hunter. If I don't mark the thing, it's gone forever. How many hours do you have on the hunter? Let's get on this trail here. Uh, how do I make this work? 6,550. Just a few. Also going rifle hunting coming this September? Nice, man. Your next great one's going to be 10 very easy. If it's a very easy grind, I'll take it. You're loaded with sandbar? Thank you. 
my game got partially corrupted, and all my tents got sent back to my inventory. I don't know that that's your game getting corrupted. Um, hopefully not, because corrupted save file is never good. But, there's a thing like, especially if you haven't loaded onto a map in a long time or since an update. Basically, like, changes to graphics and the way that that stuff works. It kind of affects how the game loads, like, the terrain. And if it's struggling to load the terrain in the way that the tank can be placed, then it just puts it back in your inventory. What's up, Sagner? Long stream, what's this? Uh, I don't know, I've never done a long stream before. As a mod for the Schuster Army, does that make me like a major or something? A major pain, yeah. Ready for college football? Uh, I mean, I don't watch it much, but like, I'm excited for it to be on. I will watch it on days that there's not NFL football anyway. Hey, sounds good, JW. I appreciate you stopping in, man. Got called about a few days ago. One of the first animals I took down was a silver moose. As a Canadian, that made me very happy. Nice, man. Hopefully, there will be hundreds, if not thousands, of kills to follow. You should do Throwback Thursday with old Cabela's Deer Hunt series that came out for the PS2. Uh, well, I have done actually a decent bit of that. I've done Big Game Hunter 2004, 2003, whatever it was. I think four. I've done uh, Deer Hunter 2005. That's one of the biggest like retro hunting games ever. What else have we done? I did a little video on Big Game Hunter, like the original, which was, that's the April Fool's video. Kind of fun, I enjoyed that. What else did we do? We did Outdoor Adventures, we did Alaskan Adventures, we did... What's the name of that one? Another, there's another Cabela's game I'm missing. I want it, I want to bring them back. The problem I run into is the timing. Because doing a full playthrough, like a 20 plus episode playthrough, People do get pretty tired of the game by the end of it, and I get that. Like, you can only look at the old art style for so long before you say, like, okay, we should probably be playing Call of the Wild now. So what I want to do, uh, Danny, I'll get to your super chat in one second. What I want to do is play through the entire game, record the entire thing, boil it down to, like, 40 minutes, like a long episode, and then do a one-episode release on the game. I think that would be better for everybody. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Broncos lost to the Cardinals might be a Vikings fan now. Did they play the Cardinals in preseason? Imagine if you can get African Safari for Throwback Thursday. So, speaking of Danny, as he just super chatted there, we've talked about this. I think it's like somehow available for PC, but every time I've gone to do it is not the correct version or whatever. If I can make that happen, I'd like to. It's one of my favorite games. Ticket Moon Plains reminds me of African Safari a bit. Where was the one we were? There we go. Ew, don't be a Vikings fan. Wow. Uh, finally got a stream for the first time in a while. Well, welcome on in, man. Glad you can make it. Hopefully this will be a good one. We've already been trolled once. Not even by, like, your normal Emerald Troll species. It was a red fox, of all things. Favorite hunting game. Of all time, Classic. I think Classic is the best hunting game ever made. We'll be playing that in some time between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, I mean, at the moment, Call of the Wild is my favorite game. Full stop, hunting game or not. It's it's tough to make that make sense, I think, sometimes. But having played Classic for 10 plus years, I don't play it as much anymore, but I still absolutely love it when I do. Uh, Wander, thank you for the super chat again. Really appreciate the support today. How does the age cycle work in Way the Hunter? How long is it? Okay. So there's some debate about this. And I will tell you what seems to work for me, and then I'll also explain what people are saying works. For me... In order to pass a year in game, you have to rest three times, but you can't just like go to your bed and rest three times. You have to, like, well, okay. You can't go to your bed and rest three times without doing anything else. For me, like I'll go rest, hunt for an hour, rest, hunt for an hour, rest. That'd be three rests, one in game year passes. Some people seem to be able to do that sleep spamming thing. They go to the bed, rest to 7 a.m., then 6 a.m., then 5 a.m., and they say that's making aging work. It never works that way for me. We need classic now? I mean, if you can bend space and time. You got it. Playing classic later? Indeed. 
Uh, where do you recommend hunting whitetail? Because I'm pretty new for classic. I'm guessing. I'll, I'll let you clarify that because that'll be a, a lengthier answer that I don't want to give if you're talking about Call of the Wild. Oh, it is? Okay. So if it were me, I would go to Red Feather Falls. I would spawn at the Southern Lodge. I can't remember if it's, I think it might be called Darkwood Lodge. It's the one in the south. There's, there's one on the east side of the map, one in the south. Basically go from that lodge to the west. There's a little tower there. And then start to make your way kind of west and northwest of that up along these sort of like mini islands, almost. You'll see what I mean if I'm talk if you're looking at the map what I'm talking about. What game with the resting Wave Hunter? Think classic streams are my favorite vibes? I'm excited for a classic YouTube stream. It's not a full like classic YouTube stream, starting with Call of the Wild. But I'm trying to think, the last time I streamed classic on YouTube, it might have been when Lynx came out. It's been a while. What's the great one count? Three. Holy. Uh, do you got any tips for like newer players for Call of the Wild? Hunt around water? Zones, it, it's counterintuitive at first until you play the game and kind of see it. Zones basically revolve around water, and that's not only drinking zones. Let me let me see if I can show you an example. Let's pick some, like, let's go up in this area. Those are going to be crocs, so that's not too bad, actually. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so there's the feed zone for hog deer. It's just next to lakes here. And we'll just keep on moving over here, like a bunch of rest zones. Hog deer, sandbar, hog deer. We're looking in the bottom right, by the way, for the need zones. You see that pop up? when I mouse over it. We've got hog deer again. We've got hog deer again. Feed zones for access deer. They're all right here by the water. So if you're hunting near water, you're going to be encountering animals. As you do that, you'll discover zones. Those zones have a particular time. For instance, uh, I think we're looking at a red fox right here. If you were to go for a red fox drink zone, they drink from 1700 to 2000 hours. So if it's that time, you know, in your game right now, I think it's something like 8 a.m. Slight whipping, but it's fine. Not am. If it was like 1700 right now, and we visited these lakes, there'd be some red fox drinking around them. Those sorts of things can really help you out too, like as you learn what drinks and when, but if you're just starting out hunting your water and you're gonna find animals, I wouldn't try to get too into the weeds about like exactly what's drinking when. You'll learn that stuff as you play. Wandre, thank you again, man. Very much appreciate the support. Hunter Classic is an outstanding game for the time period it was made in. That's what's so amazing about it. Look at other games that came out in 2009. There are not many that look anything like Classic. Classic was so far ahead of its time. Uh, the Brown Yeti, thank you for the super chat as well. Just finished the permission jobs for Ticket Moon. You get a bow that's tier 1 to 4. Really? I didn't know that. I guess I'm going to have to mess with that. I had no idea that existed. I know there, because Mel did the missions in that video. There's a pretty, pretty interesting little creature there. I won't spoil it for anybody that doesn't want it spoiled, but... Excited to mess with that. I've been wanting to shoot a kangaroo this entire time, and we still haven't done it. I hope it's not one solo female, though. What's going on, Brady? Now you're all good. The only thing we've had has been a troll red fox. So, you know, Emerald Troll's just doing its thing, even with an animal that doesn't tend to troll. Just letting us know, like, hey, you're hunting here. You're going to experience sadness. Potential Hall of Shamer, I think there. I forget what bronze is for Ruse. It's 220 something. Aggressive. We'll take that. What's going on, Mel? A troll fox, Sag. Sag and badge and all the things. Danny convinced us to go get the 3030 and shoot it with it. And I don't know why I listened. <laughs> but on the way over there, it was like, you know what? I've never shot one with a 3030. This could be cool. Found him. Shot him, you know, 150 yards away, smoked him. Troll. My five-star cape is 499. That is one off a max score. That is indeed big. <sighs> How'd that miss? Get back here. That looks violent. What's up, Apollo? Smoked. All right. Let's go get our potential Hall of Shamer. I want to say it's a little bit below 224. I'm doing my fallow grind. You just gave me something to watch. Well, good. Hopefully we can help you get through a couple hours. 
Shot me a level one mellow white tail 10 minutes after shooting a diamond. Which one do you consider to be more special? I just have everyone's Emerald Coast diamonds. I'm yet to be, wait, really? You've had a diamond of every, is that what you're saying? You've had a diamond of everything on Emerald Coast with no trolls? Kangaroo execution style? I didn't choose to go aggressive. It's a nice brown kangaroo. 226 is silver, so it was 224 minimum. I guess there was a chance. I want a bronze kangaroo. I feel like they must exist. Got a 99.5% five star blue wildebeest. Nice, man. I don't think we've had any like really high genetic stuff. Like we've killed a bunch of five stars, but 96% is as good as we've seen. Uh, no, 98 goose, but it's a goose. Okay, even I've been trolled on EC. I've botched a diamond, but no trolls. That is unbelievable. I'm trying to think back. All the way back to early access. No, it was, it was uh, kangaroos and crocs trolled us before we had anything. The mouth of the animal at the end of the story mission in Way the Hunter only shows up in story mode. Oh, okay. But the mission itself would only show up in story mode, right? Oh, no, I think I understand what you're saying. There's a particular platform in the lodge. I've killed so many low genetic animals on Tickle Moon. Tickle Moon. It's funny how that map is. Like, it's a little different. I'm trying to think. Let's go, like, Chase Bantang or something. It's a little bit different than the other maps. The private land is loaded with big stuff. Public land, it's got like a smattering of big males. But it's like 20%, 30%, 35%, 22%. Oh, there's a 95 over there. Like, it's balanced differently than I find the other maps are. For me, public land is typically a bunch of 40s and 50s with some 20s sprinkled in. And if you manage them well, you get some 90s. Having so many big ones at the start seems different. Pizza's a low genetic animal? Smoked him. Cooler mornings here have me ready to be back in the duck blind. It hasn't even been that cool here. Just like 61, 62 in the morning. But I walk out and it's just like, I could be in a tree stand right now. I'd love to be in a tree stand. Do animals age on one map even if you don't play? Uh, no. So like, if you're hunting Ticket Moon Plains, your Nez Per stuff, your Transylvania stuff, your Roar Shore stuff does not age. Now there was a thing, I believe they fixed it, but there was a thing where if you hunted Ticket Moon Plains in multiplayer, your single player Ticket Moon Plains animals age. That, that was a bad example because I think they fixed it before Ticket Moon came out. So let's say if you hunted Nez Perce in multiplayer, your single player Nez Perce animals would age, but I'm pretty sure that's fixed. When does archery start in PA? I'm pretty sure September 30th. 29th or 30th, whatever the Saturday is. Why does DC have so many more trolls than any other map? There's not been anything like explained about that. My personal theory is this. With herd management tactics getting like so refined to the point that, I mean, people will readily say they're killing a diamond every 10 kills. Assuming they're not lying, and based on the evidence I've seen, they're absolutely not lying. That's definitely possible. The... I want to say the value of diamonds goes down, but a little bit of, like, you know, specialness of diamonds wears off when you can kill... Well, when you can kill a diamond every 10 kills, right? So, my perception is that EW sees that. They're totally cool with herd management. You know, they've come out and say that on the streams and stuff. And their solution, their response to that, is to make diamonds a little bit more rare. Rather than changing the entire system for how diamonds work, I think they've just upped the scoring requirements. So essentially, you still get as many max levels as you would have in the past with, you know, any other map, but you need a higher score in those max levels within, you know, that score range to make diamond. Therefore, you could herd manage, Bantang don't really troll. You could herd manage, I don't know, kangaroos, and you'd still get trolled a lot. You wouldn't get as many diamonds as you would with, let's say, Fallagers, since that's the most recent great one. That's a complete guess. It's, uh, it is not proven in the slightest. Totally just like my personal perception, but it kind of, it makes sense to me anyway. What about the people that don't herd manage? I think that's why they haven't taken it too far. Like, it's still, I didn't find it difficult 
or that difficult to get all the diamonds on Emerald Coast. Like, it took a couple of weeks. The only thing we really actually hunted hard for was Rusadir. Everything else just kind of we stumbled into. I, like, maybe that's not the reason. So it, it might have nothing to do with that. But that's just my guess. I think, and it's, it doesn't even have to be herd management. Diamonds have been easier to find. Not even easier to find. People understand how to hunt for them better now. So I think diamonds have gotten more common in that sense for years anyway. So it might be a response to that as a whole. I think herd management just being the most localized, like, hey, this is a thing that gets diamonds. It's easier to talk about it that way. Can't wait for classic. I can't either. I'm excited. I'm hoping. So we're, I think we're going to do multiplayer because I'm not participating in the comp. I'm hoping we can answer questions, you know, talk about tactics, strategies, like where you want to hunt, how you want to use your 10 attempts. We'll see how that goes. All right. All the creatures are right here. Where's this kangaroo at? I really want a diamond kangaroo in this area. What do you think of a rainforest type map? Uh, so I guess not Australian rainforest. Like wh where rainforest, I guess. How's the dog? Oh, she's doing good. Um, she rode all the way to Pittsburgh and back with us yesterday. So I think she's a little bit tired still. She's been doing a lot of sleeping, but that's probably good for a day in which we planned the stream for longer. Oh, wrong gun. I don't know how that went over it. Sandbar drink time. Same as Red Fox, I think. 1700. Might be 17 to 21. 17 to 20 or 17 to 21. High seats? Oh, you're talking. I see. Never heard. So, tree stand in high seat. I've never heard that term till just now. Do Bantang only drink on the coast? Pretty much. There are a few. Um, there's a zone. Is it this lake? Yeah. I got a drink zone here. I think in multiplayer I've had one here, but on my map I don't. I was going to say, so we call them high chairs, but you know. Same difference. Waffles or pancakes? Good question. Pancakes, probably. I like waffles, but the nice thing about pancakes is like you can do them homemade I think easier you have to have a specific waffle maker obviously if you have that then you're in good shape do I have 16 gauge buckshot by chance I got nothing cool I guess we're shooting this with the 7 mil then who calls high seats high chairs you do I'm so good at that he like looked over his shoulder like, what was that? Just absolute killer. Like the Amazon or Indian rainforest? Uh, Amazon could be interesting. So doing a map based in India would be tough because there's, again, it's a game. It's kind of like that thing of like, should you add elephants? It's a game, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. But as far as hunting in India it's it's very different than most places like there's really strict regulations and stuff it's just not nearly as much a thing there does that mean we shouldn't have a map there not necessarily but you see I mean, I mean with so many things you see it with night hunting you see it with uh, let's say baiting and classic you see it with um, the ARs anytime something comes out that's illegal locally for somebody there's complaints to ew like you can't use an ar that's illegal like no it's legal some places so i don't know I, I think no matter what they'd be met with a bunch of like pushback but uh the amazon thing i think that could be a lot more interesting my viewpoint has always been that a good waffle is always better than a good pancake, but a bad pancake is always better than a bad waffle. I like it. 
It's a game? Exactly. That That's the approach that probably the devs should take, but I, I get uh, from a devs perspective being like, nah, we're gonna get we're gonna get so much negativity, that could be bad. Second day valor grinding, nice. How does Call of the Wild multiplayer work? Is it someone else's map or generate a new one? So if I were to host a multiplayer game in Call of the Wild, it would use my map's population. So for instance, um, this red fox down here, if I didn't shoot it, and then I host a multiplayer, you could go on my map, go to this general location, and this red fox will be, you know, somewhere in its zone, unless it's spooked or whatever. You'd be able to come and shoot this exact red fox, unless I killed it. So there's... Some people would perceive that hosting multiplayer is negative, because people can run around their map and shoot their diamonds, and that's absolutely true. But, it can be a positive too. Because everyone isn't only shooting diamonds, they're shooting silvers and golds and bronzes and whatever else. So you might end up with some respawns that turn into diamonds. I don't host multiplayer much, at least these days, but fitting that we just found a fallow. One specific time I remember hosting multiplayer, it was back, you know, the old legacy scoring, the old uh, scoring system, all that. I hadn't killed a diamond fallow deer, it was one of the only species I didn't have a diamond of. So I hunted around Hirschfeld quite a bit, and I finally was like, alright, I'm gonna host my map. So I think I hosted two nights in a row, went out and hunted the next day, diamond fallow. Melt is the great one accurate. I'm trying to find thing. Oh, so when people talk about getting great ones on multiplayer, they're killing someone else's. I guess, but like Mel said, it's fair. Get like if someone's hosting their map, I think generally it's probably understood. Like someone else might get this thing that's on my map, but the other side of that is. You can't even know if the actual host is still there. Like, just because... Unless they say, like, hey, this is my map. Um, just because they might might be the regular, like, pink color on the map of the host, that doesn't mean that the original host didn't leave, someone else joined, got that color, and is now, like, taking over ownership of the server. It's impossible to know. So, for me, so long as you can tell it is not hacked. You know, if you if there's four great ones standing side by side, yeah, that's a hack server. But if I were to find a great one in multiplayer, or a super rare or whatever, again, as long as it doesn't feel like it's sketchy or hacked or anything, I'd feel like it's just as fair as anything else. I feel you, Beverly. Uh, Ginger Snap, thank you for the super chat. I like the sticker as well. I play Call of the Wild, I play a lot more Way the Hunter. More realistic, I know I'm late to the party, but should I give the Hunter Classic a shot? Oh yeah. If you like Way the Hunter because it's more realistic, you'll love Classic. Um, I've just recently done some beginner guides on Classic. So, if you're, you know, if you get into it and you're lost, I would check those out. I'd highly recommend the tutorial. Play through the tutorial, it helps you out quite a bit. Classic's free to play, but you can spend money on it as with like any other free to play game. Here's what I would do. I would go into it with the free-to-play mindset. Like, you know, don't necessarily go into planning to spend money. But if you like it, there's nothing wrong with dropping 20 bucks on it to buy, like, a gun and maybe some collars and stuff. If you do, and you're getting, like, you know, more enjoyment out of it, you've still spent less than you'll spend on a lot of other games. So it's it's not bad at all to, to do that. Nothing wrong with playing free-to-play. Nothing wrong with spending a little money on it. I hope that was audible over all the shotgun shooting. Uh, and help me thank you with the beginner's guide. My pleasure, man. It, it was something that I've always wanted to do it. And for so many years, there were two things. I wasn't 100% sure that it was okay with the terms of service. Because I remember, like, specifically, years and years ago, there were two kids, like, younger kids, that shared a classic account. They were brothers. And they posted something in the Hunter forums, like, hey, this is our first non-typical or something. And one of the moderators was like, R? And I think the guy's dad chimed in and said, like, hey, like, yeah, my kids share this account. And they were like, hey, this is against terms of service. I don't think they deleted their account. But that experience, and this is going back years, 
made me think like if I make a second account, am I breaking terms of service? So all that time I was waiting like I wasn't I just I guess I was procrastinating asking if that was okay. And then the other thing was I was just sure if I started a new account, I'd find a 200 white on that account. It would break my heart because I wanted one on my main account. So I got one last year. It was finally time to do the beginner guide. And it was really like important to me to try to do a decent job and help people out. Your teeth are floating. What? Oh, never mind. What's up, Reinhardt? Uh, anything good? I got two potential five-star albino K buffalo. What? That's awesome, man. Uh, we had a troll red fox so far today. Professional crash lander? That's me. Jackson, thank you for the super chat. Very much appreciate it. My first line on the new map was an albino female. Nice. I still have not even found, let alone killed, an albino lion. They got after them for sharing an account? Like, why is that such a big deal? Well, like I said, it was the moderators. It wasn't even, like, an official EW person. Like I said, I believe they let them keep their account. But if you're a, f like, from a strictly business perspective, if you're a for-profit, this is like Netflix password sharing. Like, Netflix tried to ban it because you know, we should be making twice the money because all those people should be paying. They shouldn't be able to have the same account. That's the mindset, probably. But I'm pretty sure they left them keep it. I'm pretty sure. Does EW own Wade the Hunter? No. Wade the Hunter is THQ Nordic. How does restarting your maps work? Like, resetting them? Like starting over at level one, you mean? Is your fridge running? No, he took the day off. Anyone know if the flapping decoy for geese is better than the regular one? I know that one spinner is like six regulars, but six regulars cost less. I want to say that it's effectively the same. Somebody here might have a better answer. I'm I'm not huge into waterfowl or classic anymore. I would have known this answer probably like six, seven years ago. Or whenever those came out, maybe five. Um, I want to say it's exactly the same. So sometimes those like spinny decoys go on sale, and that's a really good time to pick them up because then it actually ends up working out better to, to buy one of those. But I can't remember them having any additional effects over six decoys. Starting over at level one, I mean, effectively, like you keep your trophy lodges. But you, yeah, when you press new game, hello, uh, you're, why are you still here? You're supposed to run. Anyway, you press new game, you start over at level one, all your perks and skills are gone, all your cash is gone, and it's, it's just like when you first played the game, except when you go to your trophy lodge, all the stuff you shot prior to restarting will still be there. What are your skills and perks for Call of the Wild? I've actually got a uh, command for that in the Discord, so rather than putting them all up and you having to screenshot them all real quick, if you go to my Discord, uh, the Call of the Wild chat is exclamation mark C-O-T-W perks. That'll get you all the images of the skills and perks. What do you think about mods in general? Not like Great One Hacks or something like that, but making it more immersive, for example, by modifying some of the animal's behavior and stuff like that. That's a tough subject. Because... If it is just that, that sounds cool. That kind of sounds like playing farming sim with certain mods. However, there's no mods that like EW supports. Like certain mods in farming sim, uh, giant software like gets behind them. The problem you run into is like where there's one, there's more. So my personal philosophy is that you're just better off not playing with mods, at least if you care at all about, like, what people think of your trophies. Like, if you do post a great one fallow deer, and I don't know, I remember there was a weapon skins mod back before weapon skins in Call of the Wild became a thing. If you were standing there holding your weapon that doesn't look like any weapon you can otherwise get, then people are gonna say you're modding, and, I mean, they're right. Maybe you didn't mod in the great one fallow, but it, it causes problems in that way. So, it, let's say EW comes out with, uh... So they've done classic call out. What would be the next game? The Hunter, uh... I don't know. <laughs> I can't come up with the name of a game. What's the, um... 
Oh, Jeremiah Johnson's the name of the thing. Well, whatever you might call it. The Hunter something, their next game. And they stop supporting Call of the Wild. Then I think mods would be great, but I think modding a game that's getting updates and you know actively supported, it just it just causes problems. Long stream today, that's the plan. We're gonna chill out here on Immortal Calls for somewhere between like a half hour and an hour yet. Jump into classic. Have a little fun with the competition, in which you can win a flinter themed bow. And we'll see how long that runs. What's up, Coco? Uh, you need to bring back the drive video, show people how classic was back in the day with the Whiteheart ones. So here's the thing about drives. I don't hate them. They were fun to do. But it's... It's, uh, I don't know. The, the way the Whiteheart ones are, where you just kind of herd all the animals into one spot and then shoot them, that's somewhere between, like perfectly legit play and exploitative play. You know what I mean? I, I don't think EW has a problem with it, but, you know, if I shoot a 200 hunting around and finding it and calling it in and tracking it down, and someone else shoots a 200 by running every animal on the map down to a point where they can't escape, it, you know, there's a difference to it. So I, I'm not super, like, pro drives anymore. I don't care if you do it. Like, don't get me wrong. If you're doing drives, no, you know, absolutely have at it is what I'm saying. It's just not something I like to do. You're from PA, didn't y'all invent a deer drive? I don't know who invented it. It's a very popular thing here. I've never killed a deer in a deer drive. I have driven deer to people. Never killed one. Typically what happens is I've filled my tags by then. <laughs> so I'm the designated driver. And uh, yeah, that's that means something else. Anyway. I love deer drive. Ooh. I only played that game a little bit. I got it like 12 seconds before our Wii exploded. It can discredit trophies to a personal extent, and, and it's it's exactly down to just like personal. Like I remember, um, we had, I don't even know what it scored, 190 something, a big white tail in a drive. I don't even remember who shot it, but I just remember sitting there and it was running around and it couldn't go anywhere, and I was like, is this actually, should I be happy if I kill this? I would have been. <laughs> like, I, st I would have been. I've killed big stuff in drives. I've killed 23 plus black bears, 1100 plus hogs. Do not get me wrong. It is something I've killed lots of big males on, and it is enjoyable. It's just, I've kind of like, personally, my philosophy on how I like to play the game has changed. I'm happy to be patient. Biggest buck you've killed in real life? That was... 180 and 6.8's gross score. I shot him in 2021. There's a video on the channel of shooting him. I actually want to do kind of another video that's maybe... So the video on the channel is like a made-for-TV episode. We had our 2021 season on Wild TV. That's a like an outdoor network in Canada. And I think Sweden and some other countries. So it's a made-for-TV episode. And basically I want to just, you know, take that footage and do another video maybe with some storytelling and stuff I love it you just have that pick ready it's a so here's the thing I find that to be less like I don't know gloaty than being like it's a 14 point 180 inch I don't know there's something about like describing the whole thing that makes it sound super what's the word pretentious Hey, you're my favorite YouTuber. Don't tell lady, I won't say a word. I appreciate it though. <laughs> oh, smoked him. Uh, what did that say? Opinion on herd management? I don't... I don't care if anyone does it. Like, I don't do it. It's not really my favorite thing. I think that what it comes down to is like... How do you want to... Personally play the game? Pretty much just that. I think since EW has said, like, you know, they're totally happy with it, they had a weird, like, contradictive statement, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go with what they said. Being that they intended for it to be a thing, I might, you know, eventually adopt some form of it, like, 
not shooting small males or whatever when I see them, because we just had a level one access to you, right? In theory, that was a bad thing to do. So maybe I come around on that and just don't shoot small stuff. In theory, they want us to play the game that way, but I have such a hard time, like the way that I play Call of the Wild, unless I'm grinding. The way that I play Call of the Wild is I run around and I shoot whatever shows up. It's just, I like playing that way. <laughs> unless they flee before I get a shot off, access to your dumb and rude. Uh, is Wave Hunter the same company as Call of the Wild? No. How dare you, Soup. Uh, there's not Mad Dog. I wish there was. They need to do that, but there's not at the moment. What's going on, Lanky? It's going good, man. I'm really excited for this classic half of the stream, which is coming up in 45 minutes or thereabouts. What's your favorite fish to fish for in real life? When I go fishing, I like to fish for a particular fish. Um, it used to be bass. I loved bass fishing. I really don't know why this changed, but I'm all about like small stream trout fishing. Fly or spinning tackle, I don't care. I like, you know what I think it is? It's a little more exploratory. Like you might walk for several miles down the creek bank and stuff. I, I just love that. Shoot on the run. If I had the 22 250, I would, but I'm terrible with the 3030 on the run. Truth. What gun this is, the 3030? Do you still jump off bridges and trick shot moose? In real life or in game? No, um, that doesn't really work anymore. It, it can. There's a couple of things that have changed. You can no longer place tents on the railroad tracks. When you could do that, it would perfectly spawn the quad in the exact position you needed to fall off the bridge, bounce off the quad and fly into the air. So now, A, every time you die, you're gonna spawn not back up on the railroad tracks because the tent's not there, but also B, you gotta position the four-wheeler correctly. And even still, if you do all that correct and fall on it, like two out of three times you die immediately, it's really hard to do correctly, so I don't mess with it much. I mess with it, it was fun. Almost part a six-piece, three-way, six-piece? Holy. Must have been a, a lengthy lad. Favorite trophy in Classic besides the 201 White Tail. See, you got me there. The two 400 Elk from the same stand were cool. I wish I got them in the same trophy shot. If I had any idea what was coming in after that first one, I'd have waited. But And they were like an hour apart. Um, I do have... It's not in the gallery, because I didn't enter it. Before the piebald feral hogs were made common, which apparently that memo wasn't gotten across to everyone immediately, but they are, like, all piebald feral hogs are common now. Uh, back when they were rare, like an actual rare, I shot an 1166 scoring feral hog, I think? Piebald? So here's what happened. I, I was doing YouTube at the time. Pretty new to it. I was using Shadow Play, which I think now is called Share. It's NVIDIA's, the, uh, oh, what do they call it? GeForce Experience? The recording software that came with that. Press record. Shot it. Dropped it with a hard shot or a brain shot, I forget, with the recurve. Which, they're a tough animal to drop. I was so proud of that. Took my trophy shot. All good. I looked. The recording corrupted. Didn't record anything. All right, cool. You know, I, I saw my trophy shot. Oh. This was during the time that trophy shots weren't uploading to your gallery. Well, that's okay. It'll be in my document. Nope. Didn't save to my documents either. All I have is this stupid little... Do you guys remember the old camera in Classic? It took like 144p images. I took a picture of it when it was walking in front of me. Literally because there was a competition to improve the cameras. The whole point of the competition was to improve the cameras. And it was just like, hey, we're going to do this competition. Whoever gets the best camera with this... Or the best picture with this terrible camera wins. That's all I was there for. I wanted to get a bear attacking me. That's why I was on Rigaroo Bayou. So I have, it walked out, I was like, oh, a piebald pig, this could win the comp. So I have this terribly low resolution, can't make out anything, picture of a piebald feral hog somewhere in my gallery, and it's a super rare, but I didn't submit it because I didn't have any other photo. It made me so sad. I didn't even think I was playing on Steam at the time. Like, I, I was pretty late to the Steam game for Classic, so I probably couldn't even Steam screenshot it. It was the biggest of unfortunateness. Didn't you kill an albino moose? I think we had a leucistic caribou or something. I'm. Or do you mean with the bouncing thing? 
Because I maybe have shot an albino moose from there in another ton. What are we in the classic? Yeah, 45 minutes or something. Favorite trophy on Call of the Wild? It's the Five Ball Diamond Gray Fox. I just think that thing is so cool. I still, I'm slacking. I need to move the thing out of that back room. It's in the worst spot. Why we have a super rare like hiding behind a door in the back of the lodge, I have no idea. Have you ever fished for walleye on Lake Erie? I've never fished Lake Erie. I was in that area where I got my buck scored, that one that I had on screen a little bit ago. I, I probably don't need to tell the story, so I'll tell the brief version. Basically, there's a certain amount of like certified scorers in Pennsylvania. And when I shot the deer, I was like, okay, I gotta get that scored because that's a big one. I called the local guy and he was like, yeah, I'm booked out till May. I was like, all right, well, I'm not doing that. So he gave me the number of another guy who was up by Erie. It was three hour or something drive. And he did the scoring for me. But it was it was dark by the time I got there. I don't even know if I was within view of the lake. I didn't see it. Close as I've ever been. That 200 scoring white tail you caught on the Hunter Classic, my jaw dropped. That was a moment. Getting that on stream, I mean, for my money, that's more rare than getting a great one on stream. It was, it was pretty darn special to have everybody there because it had been such a process. Like, everybody knew what the goal of those streams were, and they were to get a 200 whitetail. For it to happen live the way that it did, it was, it was pretty special. Oh, nice, you. Do you have your vehicle with you? Because something that works really well with, like, waterfowl, you can outrace them. So you could, like, speed underneath them and catch up. Otherwise... Hopefully, like, sometimes they just fly right back where they came from. Oh my goodness, fallow deer. That's probably the first. Now we killed one earlier. Probably the second one we've shot since the grind. Is it going to be a three-hour stream? It'll be three or four. Last night I was on the Yukon Bridge. I made a shot with the Glocks Iron Sights from 420 yards. Did that kill it? I'm playing with the hunter right now. I found a forest armature cape. Not bad. You know what I like about the cape buffalo? There's some really, like, significant differences in the five star horns. Like Mel killed two that didn't really have much of like a hook. The horns just had like a, like a curl. Might have like a, a hook where it comes back in. I I like that they're doing some differences with that. Just found two Force Armature Lions and an albino female. That's a productive pride. Flesh shot. Hey, still, if you're if you're hitting that at that distance, it's not bad with a Glock. How's Carlos? I don't know. I haven't visited Carlos. I haven't been back. We were on Tao Row for, whatever, 20 minutes to kill that albino feral goat that day. Haven't touched it since. Now that I know they added Axis Deer in Classic, I'm going to be Axis Deer grinding. They actually, the big ones in Classic, I think are better looking than Call of the Wild. The models are almost identical. If I were to bet, I would say they used some of the same assets from Call of the Wild to Classic to make those models. But the antlers are better, in my opinion. Fred is now dead. Is he still in the center of your Great One multi mount? I totally get that, Shio. Who is Carlos? Carlos was a level one, or is, he's not dead. Carlos is a level one fallow deer that we had on our great one grind over on Tealaroa. And I just thought he was funny, so like we left him there and named him, and then we started naming a couple of deer. We had Carlos, we had uh, John Felipe was one, we had Small Paul, which I thought was hilarious. I think, uh, he's still alive too. I'm pretty sure I left Small Paul go. It's crazy how rare 200 plus white tail are in classic. I killed mine back in 2017 when I first started and never seen one since. That's the way that it goes, dude. Like, in all the time that I played classic, and I'm well over 6,000 hours in classic too. Way over 5,000 classic white tail harvest, which I know compared to Call of the Wild sounds like nothing. Like, people get 5,000 white tail for a great one grind in like a month. Classic just doesn't work that way. Like, 5,000 kills is a fair few white tail. I have one 200 kill, and I spotted one other one. I helped a new player get one, which, when I say that, that sounds stupid. Because all that it was, like, I was just teaching a guy pretty much how to play the game. And we got up, 
I, it was either we got a buck grunt or we got a track. I know that I had both. I think it was like we got the track and then he grunted or something. And we called him in and it was this situation where it was almost kind of how we are now. Like, let's say it was coming from this direction. We're prone right here so we can't see it till it's right on us. It appears he's got his crossbow. He's ready to shoot it. And I just went, oh, that's 200. <laughs> Is a 203. What? I'll be tr uh, 13 years of playing the game. This October? Two 200 Whitetail. I have not been back to Aurora Shores, Reinhardt, since finding him. I kind of think I shouldn't name him that. I got to thinking about that. That might be taken the wrong way. But, um. He should still be a one star young. I need to get close and get footage of him too. I want to do the same thing that we did for Showstopper because I didn't do it with the Mule Deer. I tried. I, I guess I just took less footage of him than I thought. Is 200 rare? For a typical whitetail, 200 is really rare for like a 200 scoring typical whitetail. I don't know how many whitetail get shot every season, but it, as far as ones that score over 200, there's like 30. Like, or usually less. Like less than one per day in the world get killed, which there's a lot of whitetail getting shot. When we streamed the Angler and called out on a long stream, that was the dream, wasn't it? It was actually more Way the Hunter and the Angler. I find their... Their, like, graphical styles, art styles, mesh better. That I've done. Um, I was thinking about doing it again soon. I like the Angler, I do. <laughs> I like the patriotic bow, thank you. I am very much excited to do, like, a full video with that. Probably relatively soon. Um... Now that all the wedding stuff is over, maybe I can crack the camera out and get that done. How can you tell if an, al if an albino is old? I have a four-star cape hoping it makes five, and I can't tell. It's... See, I, I don't even... I haven't seen enough cape buffalo to really know, but it's, it's tough. Any albino, I believe they get slightly, like, brighter white as they age. But make a determination, like, you know, is it on its last year of life? I don't know that you can look at it and tell. I don't have the angler, should I? Um, if you can get it on sale, I think it's worth it. I think full price is a little much for the game as is. There is... Is it a new map or just new fish species coming to the game? Which I think will help. First time viewing live your content is great. Well, thank you. Tips for Albino Lion. Are we talking about Way the Hunter? I know they just came out. Or are we talking about Call the Wild? Recently got Way the Hunter and very impressed. Playing it more than Call the Wild. The animal detail is crazy. The biggest like complaint I have about Way the Hunter when it comes to animal detail is at a distance. So like there's this thing in game development called level of detail. And it's essentially like, is there somewhere we can see really far? Not really. Like, these trees are going to be less detailed than these trees. Otherwise, your game would lag, right? The level of detail for Way the Hunter animals, it goes down so much at distance. I just wish that they could make it so the detail level is higher, because you're right. The, the fur textures, the models themselves, they're incredible. But you can only appreciate them if you're, like, within, I don't know, 50 or 100 meters. Uh, you said Call the Wild. I mean, the biggest thing I would say, you can either just hunt multiplayer and hunt for lions that way, or just shoot every lion you see in single player. Rares are completely RNG. Don't know where the mail was, but okay. Is that not a graphical setting though? My animals at distance seem fine? It could be, because my graphics aren't at max. Though I'm pretty sure I've messed with the different settings and that didn't seem to change it. I'll have to see. Unfortunately, it's really only near lodges and stuff, but areas of Way the Hunter I lag pretty bad. Are the Medved Taiga missions worth it? Yes. Uh, there is a, without spoiling it, there is a mission diamond that you will like. All I'll say. Are we talking about a real 200, Danny? I don't know, man. I would have said not in PA, but 
If there's a property one might show up on, we might have it. We, <sighs> I was going to get trail camera cards today, I forgot. It's probably going to have to be tomorrow. We got to check them again. I, There's one good buck that we got on camera, and the thing was he didn't actually even walk past the camera. Another deer did, and he was in the background. So he hasn't... Like, that's the only video we have of him, and he's kind of far away. I know he's going to come onto our property eventually. I guarantee it. He'll probably come past one of the cameras when he does. But I just want to know how big he is. We haven't seen him since mid-June, and he was pretty big then. He's going to auntie bone. Cap my FPS to 75. I cap mine to 60. But what I find interesting, I tab out a lot when I'm gaming. Like, even when I'm streaming, I'm tabbing out, like, to scroll and chat. Sometimes I'm tabbing out to check Discord stuff. Stream, like, this will happen in Classic a decent bit. Because our classic Twitch streams, the topics that we talk about, they range from what we had for breakfast to, like, the ethics of relay hunting, all sorts of stuff. And fairly often I, like, tab out and go research something, like, just while we're live. When I tab out away the hunter, for some reason it just wants to jump up to, like, 140 FPS. Which is good that it can run it at that, but it usually makes the recording lag a little bit. What's up, bro? Yep, the comp started. Uh, started at, like, whatever, 4 a.m. our time this morning, 3 a.m. There's three days and eight hours left. No, three days and ten hours left, I think. What kind of cameras do you run? Uh, so I, I have one cell cam at the moment. It's the Tacticam Reveal XB or whatever they call it. And then at this property, we have four stealth cams and a, it's like Woe Sports or WO Sports, just an Amazon camera. If you guys recall, I had a, there was a trail camera company that had me do a review of their camera that was called Wing Home. That camera after about a year or maybe, I forget, a year or two years, it eventually just like wouldn't turn on. So I don't know, you know, I left it out in some pretty cold weather and stuff. Because that first year, we left the cameras out all winter. Just, like, try to learn where the deer are using this property. After I shot that really big one especially, we were just like, okay, we got to figure this out. So anyway, I had that, you know, Wing Home was already, like, an Amazon camera, basically. And I just wanted to replace it. Only reason I didn't get the Wing Home is their price went up. Get the Great One Moose, and what is your favorite map? Uh, I do not. Favorite map is Leighton Lakes, though. Literally getting Emerald Coast right now. Nice. I know there was... There he is. Oh, that's not the same one we were chasing. Uh, on Friday when I was watching your video and you were talking about an albino lion, ten minutes later I found one. He's now a four-star. Ooh, nice. If you play 200 2005 season for PC... If you shot the does last, you're more than likely going to run into an albino doe. If you shot the does last? 2005... Wait, hold on. I thought 2005 season was a different game. Deer Hunter 2005 season. See that? I'd tie it out. Because I thought... Hey. Maybe this is because I'm logged in. But if you search 200 2005, it's actually my video that comes up. How many views does this have? I want to know. Eh, 64k. Not like it's got a million or something like some Call of the Wild videos, but anyway. I think we had Deer Hunter 2005 and Deer Hunter 2005 season, and I think 2005 season was like Cabela's. Flinterlock aura is crazy? If only I had it. <laughs> it's just around me at all times. How do you auto run on PC? Ah, uh, jeez, what's default? Caps lock or something? No. I don't even know what default is. I have it as Q because that's the classic key. Four K Outdoors Michigan property has bigger deer than you think. Just have to find the right spots. I mean, oh, you, the four K thing was in response to somebody. Michigan has produced some of the biggest deer in the U.S. It's uh, it's not as consistent as like an Iowa or an Illinois or something, but there's huge deer out there. Even if the Mitch Rumpel buck isn't real, which I'm of the opinion that it's not. It's a fun conversation to have, though. S 
Sounds good, Super Tribe. Appreciate you hanging out, man. You should play with Rooster. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool one of these days. Maybe we could do a challenge or something. Auto run is cash log, auto walk is G. Oh, I didn't even know it was different. What about Wisconsin? There's big deer out there. I mean, th here's the thing. I think what people don't realize is that there's big deer all across the country. It's just, there. It, it comes down to a couple of things. One is like availability of food. So like in Iowa, in Illinois, the amount of ag land out there, they have almost unending food sources. And then the other thing is like amount of hunters, let's say per square mile or, you know, percentage of hunters versus the deer population, whatever you want to do it with. The way that those states do their tags, it essentially, it allows more deer to get to like trophy age class. Like the average deer shot in PA is like two and a half. It makes it really hard for deer to get to four or five, six years old, whatever they need to get to. But they they do exist pretty much everywhere. Do you have a dream bow? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this, this dart and veracity is pretty close. It's got the pattern. The thing I love about the veracity is it's the longer axle to axle, which I find I shoot longer axle to axle bows a hundred times better, which they're more stable, that should be expected. But the difference is significant. And for the price, I think it's like a thousand dollars. That's bare bow. I find it's it's right on par with like the Hoyt RX3 was 1800 or something bare bow a couple years ago. My personal opinion, and I know Hoyt technology has evolved as I'm sure Darton has since then. The RX3 was 2019 it came out. I would say the, the veracity shoots more accurately, more quietly, and more consistently than the RX3. What are changes to Call of the Wild that you want to see in the future? I still wish we could get rid of levels. I don't like the level system. I think it's confusing. I think it's a little unrealistic. And I just think aging would be cooler. Like, and I don't mean aging like getting older. I just mean spot, you know, let's say that sandboard deer I just shot. Maybe he's seven years old. I think that makes way more sense than level three. Like, what does level three mean? If you're, you don't have to be a hunter or like an outdoorsman or anything to recognize like, okay, that deer's nine years old. The oldest deer I've ever seen this game is five. That's probably a big one. Levels don't mean anything because you've maybe seen a level eight fox but you've never seen a whitetail above level two until you see level three that would be a potential diamond but a level three whitetail when you see that for the first time because you've seen level eight bear level eight fox whatever you don't immediately go oh that's a that's a good one i think aging would make more sense because i would like to think anybody that passed like third grade science knows that different animals live for different amounts of time different lifespans Hunting Sim 2 is good as potential. My biggest concern is I think Hunting Sim 2 came out in August of 2020 and I have not heard a thing about Hunting Sim 3. Because frankly, like, Hunting Sim as a series has potential, but Hunting Sim 2, I don't think they're doing anything else to it. Uh, I'm missing, sorry, Noah. What's the first? So would really old what's be worse? Did you pass third grade science? No. Oh, 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 I think I know what you're saying. Would really old deer be lower scoring? Uh, if that's what you're asking me. I don't think they should do that because that gets overly complicated. That would be ideal, but I think that gets overly complicated. That's exactly what I'm saying, Peachy. Like, it's for, you know, if you've played for 50 hours, 100 hours, you get it. Like, you know how it works. But newer players especially, I see it all the time, like, I just found a level 6 lion. That's the highest level I've ever seen. Is that big? Like, no, that's not going to be big. Why? Well, it's the way the game works. I don't know. Is the lion in the Tikamoon missions worth mounting? I want to say that it has its own mount, so I think you might be forced to mount it, but I would, I would do it. I haven't done the missions, to be fair. I think an ag lane is the big difference, not just food availability, but dispersal as well. Here in Iowa, our woodland is pockets due to us being 85 ag as opposed to PA where y'all are 25. I mean, it's the, whole, it's the abundance of food, like it's the dispersal, like you said. 
land uh, swaths, let's say. Like, I want to say it, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure because of there being so much ag land, there's a lot of like big acreage farms where there's way less hunters hunting that area. And then two, what ag land presents outside of just uh, the food is typically like a lot of good bedding. Whether it's, you know, deer will just bed down in the soybean field or in a cornfield or wherever. It's great cover, good bedding, like all that stuff. It basically, it makes a great environment for growing deer with big antlers that live to an old age. Is a level one flantro big? Depends. Is this flantro in like 2018 or flantro now? First time it was a must deer actually. He scored, if I'm not mistaken, this is the old scoring system, 957. I live in Michigan and there's so many hunters that the deer don't live long. That That's kind of what's going on with PA2. I'll tell you this though. And I think this is generally countrywide. The prevalence of, I think YouTube and social media really exacerbated it, but uh, I would say it even started with like your Drury Outdoors, uh, Lakoskis, who else were like huge whitetail specific. There's a bunch, but I'm blanking on names. I don't, I don't watch a lot of stuff like that anymore. It's mostly YouTube, but then you've got more modern stuff, the hunting public. Um, there's everybody and their mother films now, which is awesome by the way. So there's, there's tons of deer hunting content on TikTok and on Instagram and on YouTube. And all these things, if they've shown one thing, it's that you can, even if you're not in one of the big five, I call, I think there's really six, but let's say big five white tail hunting states in the US, you can kill big deer. You gotta pass up two-year-olds, you gotta pass up three-year-olds sometimes. Depends on the state you're in. But you can do it. And I think more people are catching on to that. I was talking to the taxonomist that did my big buck. And he was saying that's been his perception as well. Way less small deer being brought in, way more people are willing to pass that two-year-old buck in hopes that it gets bigger. So I think whether you're in Michigan or uh, Pennsylvania, somewhere in New England, where I know like a lot of New England deer get shot at like a year old, I think we're gonna see a trend towards more young deer getting passed and that means more big deer to hunt. I live in Ohio. We have some nice white tail. We hunt West Virginia. Sounds the same as PA, average sized deer. West Virginia, I'll tell you what, the right area of West Virginia's got monsters. West Virginia has some really nice deer too. And like like everywhere does, like I said. I'm curious, are you saying you only hunt West Virginia or do you live in Ohio and also hunt West Virginia? Because Ohio is, in my opinion, one of those uh, big five white tail states. Like I said, really there's six or even seven. I would say like Iowa, Illinois, Ohio, Missouri, Kansas. You could throw like Oklahoma in there. I can't even say the name of the state, but you could throw that in there. Honestly, Danny, here's my thing. And and don't let me like influence your decisions. I think when you're new to hunting, you should be perfectly happy to take a legal buck. I, I don't think you should worry about how old it is or anything like that. If it's legal, there's such a learning experience there. I I think it's valuable, even though, you know, maybe that would have been a, a better buck in the future. I don't think there's anything wrong with like your first deer, first couple deer being younger. I got you, Ginger Snapped. Where is... So the lower part of Michigan has small deer, northern Michigan has giants. The, uh, where's that place that Mitch Rumpola claimed to get his? Traverse County, is that northern? Here in South Carolina, a legend, one eight, a legend, a legend? I'm a legend, no. Uh, a legend 180 was shot. I say a legend because it was an out-of-state hunter and killed very close to dark and was scored in Tennessee. Oh. See, we had, um, I think this last year, maybe two years ago, they put a 200 typical into the books for PA. There had never, if I'm not mistaken, there had never even been a 190 typical shot and scored and entered into the PA record books. Has there been a 190 typical shot in PA? Probably. But there was never one of the books. 
in theory, you know, maybe a handful of 190s have ever been shot. The 200 that got entered in the books was shot like sometime in the 1960s and the guy has passed away and like, I don't even know who entered it. Was that really shot in PA in the 1960s? Maybe, like, it, maybe. Was it shot in Iowa in 1982? Could have been that too, <laughs> you know? All you do, like, if you have a rack that outscores the record for a state, you just hang on to it for like 30 years and then take it to that state and be like, yeah, my dad shot this. And by the way, they're not extremely inclined to ask questions. Because you know how you sell licenses? You have big deer. Favorite trophy you killed in Call of the Wild? Probably our piebald diamond gray fox. Did I miss anything? Not really, we've just been talking about deer hunting. That's the thing, Mr. Freeze. It's the sa exactly the same thing that I look at with that 200 typical. Like, if we've never had a 190, but there just happened to be a 200 that was sitting in someone's shed for 50 years, 60 years actually. Like I said, I'm not saying it didn't happen, but I would like some amount of proof. Are you a real life hunter? Yes. Uh, there are actually probably 60 or so videos on this channel of my real life hunting adventures. Including the one that I haven't gotten a video out on yet. Actually, we'll put does in there too. I've shot something like 13 deer on film now in the last four years. Uh, do I have anything else on film? I think just deer. No, I have a rabbit hunt too. And I missed a coyote. But that was deer hunting. Hot take, Emerald Coast is mid. Hmm. I don't think it's mid per se, but I've, like, I still really like it, but I, I know what you're talking about. There's, it's kind of got that Teoroa thing to it. It's missing a little something. I think it could use water buffalo. I don't know. There's, there's something about it that could be better. You just feel that when you hunt the map. Yeah, I get what you're saying, David. I know I know Ontario's definitely got some some good deer out, up that way too. We're we have the one one tag thing. That's what I find really interesting. Like West Virginia, at least for residents, they get three buck tags. And the way that it works, I think, as I understand it, you can shoot two with a bow and one with a gun. Or one with a bow and two with a gun. You can't kill all three in archery, you can't kill all three in rifle. But you could kill like, let's say you get your archery buck. You can go out and rifle season and kill two more with a gun. Yet, from what I can tell, West Virginia probably has, on average, like, higher scoring deer than Pennsylvania. Like, every, like, the average size of deer shot in West Virginia, at least the ones I see, are usually bigger than here. The Loveson buck. I know that buck. Tony Loveson. He was 15 or something when he shot. It was, uh, I don't know if it was a record non-typical... It's like 300 some inches though. I had a... Did you guys ever have like those Hunter Dan action figures when you were a kid? Was I just a hunting nerd? Someone out here had that. But uh, there was a Loveson Buck figure. I promise my mom has it in the attic somewhere. And the cool thing was, so I first had a Hunter Dan action figure thing and the deer was like all plastic, like hard plastic. So the antlers break off. The Loveson Buck had, like, soft plastic or, or rubber antlers. Like, rubber molded antlers, probably. So they, they didn't break. So he's still out there in a closet somewhere. Doing fine. What's going to stop you from going to Texas and get one of those crazy farm deer and say you shot it in your home state? If it broke the record by that much, I think they would ask questions. But if it's, with, if it's somewhat within reason, then typically they wouldn't. The other thing, too, about, like, the farm deer, those guys have a pretty good idea of what's on their farm, and if they saw that picture floating around, they'd probably comment and be like, hey, that's one of my deer. I have, here's a picture of him right here. Don't convince him, Cable. <laughs> Don't do it. Sorry. <laughs> I literally just talked about it, and it still made me jump. You know what annoys me? So I have this, the alert box that works here on YouTube, like if you super chat the sound plays, if you 
Actually, this I think that's the only one that plays the sound because the memberships are annoying. But anyway, I have multiple YouTube alert boxes set up. They don't double or triple play. Like, there's one for Classic, there's one for Way of the Hunter, there's one for the Angler. They don't play four times when they go off. Which, in theory, if every scene that produces sound does that, it should. So I don't know why in the world the Twitch alerts work on YouTube. It's big loud. How do you play alerts on YouTube? The sound alerts? If you just go to my Twitch and redeem the sound alert thing, it works. It's not supposed to, but it does. Timing was absolutely legit. It was well done. I'll give you that. Uh, I need some tips to start off on a new account. I got a PC, just needed some tips from a pro. Okay, so you've played on console, right? You kind of have an idea how to play the game, but you're just wanting to maybe speed up the leveling process as you get started again. That's, that's the way I'm reading that. What I would honestly do if I were you is, uh, are you going to buy any DLCs? I would get, like, the um, Modern Weapons Pack, the one with the ARs, and literally just go to Te Aoroa, multiplayer or single player, like, if you're not buy buying the Te Aoroa DLC, you just go to multiplayer, and just murder Fallow and Red Deer for, like, three days, you're gonna be probably, like, level 40. Or higher. And you'll be good to go. I'm poor on big mailbucks. <laughs> Same. That's what I thought. Hey, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Thanks, Marshawn. Speaking of Marshawn, pretty sure the early access thing for Madden, if you pre-ordered, is in like three hours. I'm playing with the hunter and got two. Well, you look like a piss ant. Thank you, Paul. Two three-star mature Gensbuck, three-star adult Kudu, and three-star adult Gensbuck. That Gensbuck's super encouraging. I've got like five three-star matures on my map, and I don't know if any of them are going to make it. Do you watch the UFC? Rarely. I know a little bit about, like, you know, if I, if I catch it on the Joe Rogan podcast or whatever, I'll, I'll know maybe who beat who or whatever, but it's it's got to be, like, luck. Like, oh, hey, I saw that if you were to mention it. I saw that, Eli. That's so interesting. You smell like pudding. Thank you. You have a five-star Gens book? Is it just me, or do you feel like they should be bigger? Because I've seen some of the photos, and I actually thought they'd get bigger than they do. Is it true you can't hunt on Sundays in PA? For the most part, yes. Uh, starting in 2020, I think, um, they, they, like, I think they started with three Sundays. So for... All those years prior to 2020, no hunting on Sundays other than, like, coyotes and crows and a couple of things. Deer, squirrel, any game animal could not be hunted on Sunday. Starting, like, three years ago, they introduced three Sundays you can hunt. So it's the last Sunday in archery season. Then there's a Sunday in bear season that week in between. And then the first Sunday in rifle season is three Sundays in a row you can hunt. They're going to slowly make it to where you can hunt every Sunday. I'm sure that's where they're headed. But at the moment, yeah, it's still almost exclusively no hunting on Sundays. Which, would I like to hunt on Sundays? Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably. I wouldn't wouldn't be upset with extra days to hunt. Do I mind kind of being forced to take a day off and just watch football? Nope. Don't mind that at all. <laughs> Late rut if I haven't killed a buck? Yeah, I wish I could be out. October 12th. A random Sunday. Do I want to go hunting? If it's still hot out or like not good weather. Eh. It really is hard, Reinhardt. That's one place where Call of the Wild succeeded for sure with the Gensbuck. The straight horns are females and the curved horns are males, which I think is realistic too. Excuse you over there. Small lad. Have you ever been trapping? Um, Not in the sense that you're probably talking about. We've done a fair bit of trapping, whether it's foothold or, like, box traps. I don't... Th this isn't even the same kind of thing, but... After watching many Survivor Man episodes, my brother and I definitely try to do deadfalls for squirrels and chipmunks. I can't remember. I think we got a chipmunk one time. Anyway, 
Um, but all the trapping that I'm talking about is like, hey, there's raccoons or possums or whatever getting in the barn and like tearing stuff up. We got to trap them. Steelers fan or Eagles fan? Steelers fan. Tell you what, Kenny Pickett didn't look too bad the other night. I was impressed. He looked more decisive. Looked like he had a little more velocity. I like it. Biggest diamond? That's tough to answer because, like, you know, there's still certain things in the game with max scores. So, like, for instance, we have a max score uh, Plains Bison, which now there's true racks, so I guess maybe that shouldn't be considered the same thing anymore. We still have a max score Gemsbuck. Those still have max scores at 358. So I guess, like, something like that. Frogos country, oh boy, we tried. Did Russ, did he play? I think he did, right? How many diamonds have you shot? I have no idea. I lost track. Uh, this is incorrect. It's 1,120. It's off by 300. They added bloodhounds and screwed up stuff years ago. Can I have to waste all my channel points on this alert whenever the time's right? Oh, dear. I'm not excited for this. He played. One of the right arrows for the uh, the CB65. That's the, the high-tech pack ones. I mean, the it's just the 300, 420, or 600 grain compound arrows, depending on the species you're trying to shoot. These little dudes hide pretty well. That's a male. Probably not gonna make this shot, but we're gonna try. But if you close your emotional balance, emotional balance, emotional balance, emotional balance. I think we should start shooting during emotional damage from now on. Sealers better not cut my guy BT Potter, comes a football legend. Why do I know that? He's running back? I know the name. Who was the fullback? He wasn't, he was Iowa. They called him the mullet. I don't even remember his name. He retired, like, before the... Before they even, like, had a preseason game. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Never heard of a guy retiring before preseason. Is that a cold one I heard? One Miller Lloyd. Don't imagine that you earn channel points in an offline chat. I don't think so. I actually cannot confirm that, but I don't think so. Let's just run the beach a little bit, see if we can kill a couple crocs. And it shall be classic time. Tipsy Kyla Stream. Come here. She's like, you've been live for two hours, come on. I don't know if she wants to play or jump up here, but if she wants to play, she's gonna have to sleep a little while. Somebody told me that, Reinhardt. The, the last stream we did, maybe last Friday? Suppose I'll make do with the 5.1k I got. Well, it sounds like you have enough for the important one. You smell like pudding. Thank you. I wonder what lion tastes like? I'd tell you, but I'd be lying. <laughs> <laughs> I got her to laugh. That was a success. No, it counts. It counts. No, it doesn't. It does. Uh, when you go to class, a couple minutes. We're going to maybe kill a crocodile or two. We'll be good. Eli did not think that was funny. <laughs> I love that emote. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. My leg. Was that from your dad joke? Uh, it might be in there, but I've made that lion joke. A lot. It worked really good in that particular instance. Have you been to Buffalo Highlands in Wave Hunter? I don't know. See, here's here's the thing I did. I forgot again that every time you go to a cabin, you gotta click on the map in there so it unlocks the things. So I don't even know the name of the regions. I do this every map. I heard. Oh, okay, they just spawned there. I think. Still pretty sure we have a piebald goose in our map we haven't killed. Let's see if we can get that. 
small lad. Well, that was quite the animation. Lower left of Tickamoon? Uh, a little bit I've been down there. Not like much, but I've been down there. Come on, Dad, throw this toy. Favorite super rare are Piebald Diamond Gray Fox. What's one of the most unique experiences you ever had hunting? Outside of like just, you know, killing a big male, because that in and of itself is fairly unique. Uh, I told this story not that long ago, so I'll tell the somewhat short version of it. I'm pretty sure I was legit 12, maybe, maybe 13. I had just, you know, my, my birthday is September 22nd. Usually our archery season starts like October 1st, right around there. So it has always worked out well that normally for my birthday, especially when I was younger, I would get like some kind of hunting thing. So this particular birthday, I got a ground blind. And I was like, all right, cool. I want to use this thing. So our early muzzleloader season's mid-October. October, probably 13th or something like that. Depends on the year, it starts on a Saturday. Which obviously means the date changes, but uh... I was still a rather small lad to be shooting an inline muzzleloader. But there is, at the end of that week, also something co that's called Youth and Senior Citizen Doe Season. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're a youth hunter or a senior citizen, which is over 65, you can shoot a doe with a rifle instead of having to use the inline muzzleloader. So, we head out, night before Youth and Senior Citizen Doe Season, set up my ground blind. Okay, but... What if you died? I could have in this story. Uh, Dad takes the inline. We're going to hunt from the ground blind for the evening and then head home, go out the next morning, and I'll be hunting. Well, a doe walks out. Dad smokes it. Drops it in his tracks. And, you know, we go up. We got it right on the spot. Go skin it. Don't think another thing about it. Head out the next morning. We're walking past where my dad dropped his deer. And when I say... Though we heard the most shrill, high-pitched, ear-piercing, hair-raising scream I've ever heard in my life. I mean it. It was... I mean, they'll say that it sounds like a woman screaming. That's exactly what it was. Ten yards away. Like, loud. I, my 12-year-old self, has never, like, gotten a gun off my shoulder and, like... Or off a sling on my shoulder and shouldered its aiming so fast. Dad clip, uh, flips on the flashlight... I think I screamed one more time, and it, it looked to be a bobcat, like, eyes spacing, distance off the ground, just standing there. And to Dad, it was, like, to his credit, because I'd have been like, I don't know what I'd have done if I had a kid there, but it probably wouldn't have been just walk away. But Dad was just like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna walk away now. So we just head to our spot, and for whatever reason, we didn't hunt in the blind. I can't remember exactly why, but we ended up actually like sitting near the blind and I remember it like tracked us we could hear it walking through the leaves behind us it like followed us to our spot it was really off-putting for a small lad but did you die I might have I don't know if the croc's gonna die but I might have that one looks weird now I guess it's just the underbelly in the distance it looked really funny Bobcat screams are terrifying, it, like like you said, especially in the dark. It'd be one thing if you hear it and can look over and be like, oh, that was that thing. When you don't know what it was. Skill issue. And it's at that distance, 10 yards. It is a skill issue, it's terrifying. What I miss uh, in Call of the Wild, we have had precisely one troll red fox as far as special things. Uh, as Silent Jungle just said, though, it is classic time. So we're going to blast a crocodile, and we're going to swap to classic. For anybody that doesn't know, there is a competition going on that I got to create, and the grand prize for said competition is a bow with, like, you know, this channel's colors and logo and all that. It's, I, I'm, like, so absolutely beyond humbled to have, like, something in the game. So, uh, I'm not going to participate in the competition, because that seems kind of rude. Um, I shouldn't try to win my own thing. I already have it. So I'm going to host multiplayer. If you guys want to hunt along with me in the Hunter Classic, we can do that. And we're just going to run around. If anybody has questions, like, hey, it's, it's uh, the competition is the highest scoring 
Blacktail, Whitetail, and Mule Deer you can get combined. So if anybody has questions, where do I hunt Blacktail? Where's a good spot for Mule Deer? We'll be answering that as we hunt along. Cougar screams are terrifying? I've heard it's similar, like it's like a woman screaming, right? So uh, we're gonna leave Call the Wild up till we launch Classic here. Uh, I should make a password, I didn't think of that. What should, what should we make the password? Let's make it Shadow all over case, cause she's out over there asking for it. All right, we're gonna do Red Feather. We're gonna start that, and we'll be on our way. Stay in here, going to Twitch, we're gonna stay here. For whatever reason, my classic won't launch. It just gives me a blank tab. Uh, just out of curiosity, just because you use the word tab. Are you on Steam or like through the website? I could be an idiot, but I just clocked that skill issue sound alert is Biden. It is. It's like one of those uh, AI things. All right, is it official? It's probably gonna black screen when I do this for just a second. Ah, oh, look at that, the starting soon screens up. Champion. Okay. Oh. Hello? Hold on, I got this. No, we did it. How late is the comp? Like, how late does it run for? It's got like three more days. So we're gonna suit up in our Monday vest. I think we got all the necessary things, except I was last hung on Red Feather. Nope, I was last hung on Timber Gold. Get the good grunt call, even though they're exactly the same. I think we're well suited. Anybody who hasn't seen it, this is the Flinter Bow that I was talking about. I love the design of this thing. So this, um, let me, uh, let me get drawn back here. This logo on the riser would appear to be upside down. I realized something though. I wonder if they did that on purpose because when you're holding it like this, it actually ends up being right side up. So I wonder if they did it for that. I, I'm unsure. Anyway, password is shadow, all lowercase. If you guys want to jump on in here, the competition is single player, but I'm not going to partici participate in the comp. So there's no reason for me to uh, enter and do single player. Extended stream feels like Christmas. Imagine that. Love that bow. Thank you. I I'm so, like, so thrilled with it. I've said several times. We got to, I'll say, like, assist in the designing process. The design that I had is a thousand times worse than what they came up with. It's a bottle of water. It is a bottle of water. Can you do a 2023 beginner guide series or continue the 2022-2021 I think my plan was to try to do it, like, as prepped content, either for Kentucky this year or West Virginia, one of our hunts that we're going to do. So, in theory, in the next month or so, we'll do some beginner guide stuff. Hey, pizza's still here. I was hunting something in City, Michigan. It was pitch black, and I was walking in the dark, and I heard a mountain lion. I think I peed myself. What kind of sound did the mountain lion make? Like, the scream? What's up, Liam? Look at that password command. Genius. And my computer was working, I joined and just blast him out with 4570 Fluffalo. I like that. Fluffalo. You know, the whole time just building some Lego. What are you making, though? What's the server called? It'll just be Flinter. Flinter's game, I think. You can see the spelling of the name. Same as my channel. Why didn't you do a Flinter 4570 Buffalo? I wanted to make something people would use. I would have done the snake bite if I could have, but that was not an option. So the Parker Python is like probably the next most used bow. Felt like a natural way to go. Is the barrel full? Unfortunately, no. 400 score rails of a, hey, maybe someone will get one. Fox screams very eerie at night. My brother one time, I think he was hunting in a tree stand. He might have been in a ground blind. But there was a fox not too far outside of his blind, like, not even screaming, just doing their regular, uh, almost like the classic, the mating calls the red fox make. Just like a, what would you call that? Not a bark even. Fox howl? I don't know. A howl is the right word because 
the th the thing I'm talking about is almost a classic sound plus an additional like whine at the end, sort of a howl. It one was outside his blind doing that, and he was like too afraid to leave, so my dad had to go rescue him. What's going on, Space Cowboy? Max score with 100 because my 99.99 .99 genetics cape only scored 182. Did you shoot it when it was like a young or something? Because the way to get the highest score would be to shoot them basically at the oldest possible age. And of course they can die of old age, so you got to be careful when you do that. You killed it as a 5 star and scored 182. Are you sure it wasn't 482? That sounds bugged. Server filled fast? It did. I was surprised. They never fill this fast on Twitch. What's up, Drake? I was... Hmm. Oh, I was sleeping and a bobcat outside came right by my door. Then it started screaming. I'm going to woke up at 3 a.m. and started screaming. Well, I mean, you can't be blamed. 482. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, 500 is max. He probably had another year or two in him, but... At least for me, that's not something I mess with. Even if I think it's got another year left, if it's a five star, I'm killing it. Now I can't join Big Sad. I I bet during the course of the rest of the stream, there will be openings in the server. Cougar sounded like a witch laughing. Oh god, that would be scary. What tier six did you use on Tickamoon? The 338 is too much for all to be. I just used the SM12, the the base game 300. What game is this? This is the Hunter Classic. If you're familiar with Call of the Wild, this is basically the predecessor to it. It, I'm gonna say it's owned by EW. It's mostly made by EW. And actually, way back in 2008 when it was being developed, and in 2009 when it came out, it was developed by a company called Emote. And I, for whatever reason, maybe it was not succeeding, or maybe they just, you know, made a game and decided to sell it. But they sold it to Expansive Worlds. EW bought it. And as I understand it, I think maybe, other than the first two or three maps, they've developed everything in the game since probably 2011, anyway. Pumpkin Mom, nice. Kyle is making friendship bracelets for her pumpkins now. This is for myself. <laughs> okay. Big cats sound insane is what I was trying to say. Makes enough sense to me. I think the Tickamoon 5 stars are rarely going to see max scores just with them being long lived and making 5 star much earlier. Yeah, I, I think exactly the same. Literally the exact same thought process. What's the trick for causing respawns? Uh, to do map changes? That will work, yeah. Map changes, exit the main menu. Just waiting a few hours, but that's obviously not what you want to do. What was your reaction to the Great One Fallow? Um, it was not PG. Hey, there's Harvest number 50. It was, it was more of a relief thing, because 6,000 kills was a lot. It was just kind of like, uh, you know, oh, finally kind of thing. Yes. You really do know exactly when this ring's supposed to end. I'm not... I can't... I can't play right now. You don't have a bow? You can out with a gun just fine. Are you in the server? It was a DD33 impression. Holy... Not PG, you little devil. I'm sure it would have been PG had I been recording, but... Well, I think. I don't think I've ever had to, like, bleep myself before. A few months ago, my little cousin was jumping in the backyard fence to get a baseball and a fox that was foaming at the mouth walked by. Oh, God. Yeah, that could have been bad. Why didn't DD33 get a custom weapon? Uh, so basically, DD is not super active on Discord, and that's where the whole thing came from. Um... There's a, like, a, a communications channel for, like, EW and all of the, um, like, official creators. So they posted in there, like, hey, uh, we're doing this thing in Classic for, you know, those of you that are Classic creators, if you want to do it, 
answer, basically. And uh, like I said, Didi's not really on Discord, so I'm thinking that's why. Will you be doing arrow hunting this year? Yes. I uh, got plans for hunts in Kentucky, West Virginia, obviously here at home in PA, and potentially Indiana. <laughs> Whoa, FPS King. <laughs> Harsh words. <laughs> Big mail. I shot a huge mule deer for tomorrow's video, by the way. Wait, wait, do you guys see it? It scored at least 20. Barely. Could a one-star adult blue wildebeest it was 95%. Really? Because the way that most things seem to age on Tickamoon Plains, they, they get such good star ratings in their adult years. I always expect if they don't hit two-star adult right away that they're not going to be big. Do you have a favorite soccer team? Not really. Big males in Indiana. Hey, that's where uh, the Huffbuck was. 208. Nothing on here in Nebraska. I don't know about that. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. Spoiler alert. I know. I hear... Oh, it's a doe. She's looking right at us. But I bet if we just lay here. What's your favorite favorite? Hmm. My favorite favorite steak. I don't know. I have a three-star old guns book. Do you think it'll make five-star? I would expect it to. I was in shock. I killed a bunch of one-star dolls. They were only 50. Yeah, like, generally, that's what's happened for me, too. If I shoot a one-star doll, it's been pretty low. Are the hunts rifle or archery? Uh, Kentucky's archery, West Virginia's archery, PA will be both, and Indiana's rifle. Actually, Indiana might have a day of archery, depending. The idea is I'm going to go out for, like, their rifle opener. And, like, here in PA, archery ends... And then there's a week or two before rifle opens. In Indiana, archery runs through rifle and actually beyond. So, like, if I went up two days before rifle opened, we could drive to the... I think we're going to a camp. I, again, if this happens. Drive to that camp and then archery hunt the day before. Oof, cut a 99% one-star adult spring buck. So shoot at your own risk. That's what's tough. Like, you can identify the uneven attributes of... Horns and antlers and stuff, but unless you're really close, especially on Springbuck, good luck, you know, telling if it's uneven or not. Do you think any new species will be added to Classic in the near future? I expect we'll see new species still, yeah. Um, we've had Axis Deer, Fallow Deer, Lynx, something else too. Like in the fairly recent past. I imagine we'll see more stuff. As for what it may be, I don't know. But maybe, uh, like, maybe Arctic Wolves or something over on White Rhyme could work. We already have wolves, so it wouldn't be a huge undertaking. A little reskin and we're good to go. Woodgrouse, yes, thank you. Thoughts on the new map in Wave the Hunter? I love it. I'm a little concerned that there might, it might be too easy to get five stars because it's so open. You never spook stuff, you know? But we'll see. We'll see kind of how, like, that shakes out as we go forward. Don't threaten me, it was a good time. My hardest thing with Ticket Moon is going to be having to wait 13 plus years to see a 5 star. See, I think that um, aging for those animals is going to work differently. Like how they changed the bear aging and stuff. But I don't even know how bear aging works at this stage. Nice. They should have made it so position 12 actually wins. Where and when should I find Cape Buffalo and Wade the Hunter? Uh, because they're such big animals, the when isn't as important. Their drink time is like 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., so you go to like any of the watering holes. They're pretty all over the map, but the northwest is the private land, so that's got the really good genetics. How extreme... Do the cost for out-of-state deer tags get in your area? 
not that bad. We were looking at Kentucky. I think it's going to be 300 bucks, which is a lot. But in the grand scheme of things, like if you were to go hunt like an antelope in Wyoming, it'd be more than that. I finally got back and called the wild. Next thing you know, eight mythical red deer. It's not, not a terrible thing to come back to. I can't tell if Cameron's chat is bugged, because I definitely read that. I, I've been assuming it's bugged and out of service, because that's the only thing I've seen. Do you bear hunt? I never have. I, I I think I'd like to, but if I were to do it, I'd need to make sure I know how to, like, process the meat and stuff. Because I don't, I don't even know if I know anybody that's, like, shot a bear and dealt with all that. I'm sure you could take it to a processor, but I was just talking to, I think Kyla's sister and I were talking about this yesterday. Like, you take a deer to a processor. Some processors guarantee you get your deer back. Many don't. So, like, you get a deer's worth of meat back. And maybe the deer you get back was shot in the guts and left laying out in the woods for four days. So, ideally, you want to get... You know, you want to make sure you're getting yours back. <laughs> Going up to PA the beginning of next year for a work. No hunting. How early beginning of next year? You could get a... Get a tag and go flintlock hunting. Oh, God, Danny. Why did you stop hunting Medved for your moose grind? I, I think it was almost like a snow blindness effect. God, dude, I thought that 197 elk that just got shot was a white tail. I was like, holy. <laughs> anyway, um, where's I going with that? Yeah, it was almost like snow blindness. I just didn't like being there. It, it almost like made me anxious to hunt that map. So I just had to leave. It was driving me nuts. Didn't know that we've always processed our own... Yeah, same here, man. Like, we, we, we do the exact same thing. But yeah, uh, like, I'll tell you another story. My cousin doesn't process his own deer. His family, like, kind of hunted, but him and his brothers never really did. And I think his dad did, but, you know, he was probably mid-30s when he really got into hunting, maybe 40. So I, ca I can see myself being in that situation, like, being 40 years old and shooting the deer, like... I'm not going to take it to my dad and ask him for help, right? So he took it to a processor. A um, couple weeks or months later, whatever, he called the guy like, Hey, is my deer done? And the guy said, Yeah, it's done. So he went to pick it up. And no joke, the guy, the processor said, I lost it. They went through all the freezers, no deer meat. So whatever happened, like whether he kept it or whether he... You know, gave the deer to somebody else that didn't actually have a deer there. I, I don't know. But that's another potential risk. Will Bodie use it in real life? Uh, I've got a dart and veracity this year that I absolutely love. Oh, nice, Bree. You gonna film it? That'd be cool. Rule number one of deer hunting, don't bring it to the processor and expect good results. There are very good deer processors out there, too. Like, I don't want it to sound like if you take it through a processor or if you're considering doing it that you shouldn't. Or that it's a bad thing, but they're just you want to make sure it's a processor you trust. I can imagine, David, that would be a challenge. What state are you gonna be? Oh, that's not for me. Never mind. I want to know the answer to that too, though. What's up, CJ? Somewhere in the Rockies. There you go. More bad than good, but I have been to some good ones. I worked with... Actually, I went to school with the guy that started, like, his own deer processing business. I believe he was, like, he did the guarantee thing. But he was also, like, he was by himself. It was a fairly small thing. By now, it may have exploded. I don't know. But at some point, when you start getting, like, huge volume, I can see where it would be hard to keep up with that. But then I also worked with a guy that, like, he had, like, a side gig of working at a processor that did not have the guarantee. And he was like, don't, don't take it here. <laughs> Hear about the tornado? I We had, like, a tornado warning. I didn't actually know one touchdown in PA. How do you tell how long a year is in Wait the Hunter? I can't figure out for the life of me. Okay, so it takes some practice and, like, semi-regular play to, like, keep up with what's going on on your map and stuff. I don't even remember having a track from a buck. 
Um, but basically, three, like resting three times in game will pass one in game year. But you have to play some amount of time between those rests. So basically, what you can't do is walk up to a bed, rest for 23 hours, rest 23 more hours, rest 23 more hours without even like going hunting a bit. Now, people are saying that works, and it does work in multiplayer, weirdly enough. But if you're on your single player map, for me at least, I, that doesn't work. I have to actually hunt. And I don't mean that doesn't work like I don't like that. It just does not age things. Should I get Way of the Hunter or Classic? Uh, I mean, Classic's free to play, so you can at least try Classic, and in the meantime, maybe you can get Way of the Hunter as well. This is going to be awkward. I can hear him. Almost... No, that's just grass being weird. Can you play Call of the Wild in 1440? Are you asking if I can or if it's possible? Hang on, Shadow. Okay, I see... A deer. Not a big deer. That'll work. If it's possible, yeah, you can play up to 4K. This dog. I don't know if she wants to play or if she wants up here now, but the last 12 times has been wanting to play Tug. Wish we had high resolution in Classic? Uh, there is. You can play... I, I've played Classic in 4K. And it really... Like... Oh, sorry. Smacking mic. It really is significantly more clear. You want to sit up here? Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. And then she sits there. It's not... She's like, I don't want up there. How to talk in classic? Enter will open your chat. Oh, nice, Apollo. How big is a max, max weight kangaroo? 66 kilo. I think... I don't know, like 90% of kangaroos are going to be max weight, though. So don't like... Or max weight estimate for the tracks. Up to you, Captain Murray. It might not be a terrible idea to wait for maturity, but... Hey, I don't blame you. Uh... How old is it, Cameron? And male or female? You think he will ever do a massive... Massive. Massive graphics update to Classic? I doubt it. Uh, the game is so old by this point. If anything, I think they'd be more likely to, like... Almost... Make a new game, like... Classic mechanics and stuff, but start from scratch. Mature female? Oh. Uh, I'll tell you what. Trying to get him with a bow is a pain. I'd probably go 300 if it were me. What's your competition? The... The highest total of your biggest mule deer, black tail, and white tail combined. Got 10 attempts. Can use any weapon. Um, I've got a video guide-ish thing for the competition coming out tomorrow where I talk about how I would approach it, where I would hunt, what maps I'd spend my time on and stuff. And obviously since we're here in Red Feather Falls, Red Feather would be one of the maps I'd spend some time on. There's a charm to Classic's graphics? I agree. I actually... I have no problem getting immersed in Classic. I've played hunting games before that, like... The graphics can be decent, but the immersion's not there. Classic does it. Like, it works. Loggers is a good one. Uh, Loggers is not bad, especially if you're newer. It's pretty wide open, so you can spot animals from a distance. The one... Thing about Classic... Sorry, about Loggers... I think there's probably less deer overall, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I personally think Timbergold Trails is such a good mule deer map that you mostly want to focus on Timbergold for mule deer and other maps for whitetail and blacktail. Red Feather Falls and Whiteheart Island both have whitetail deer and blacktail deer on them. I think Red Feather's better for whitetail and blacktail. Play classic? No, you. My 
My favorite hunting game until Call of Duty used to be North American Hunting Adventures on the Wii. I played that game a lot. It was pretty basic, but it was decent. Will only first place get the bow or top 10? I believe only first place does, because I was fourth place in TK's competition, and I didn't get the TK gun. Favorite YouTube creator, thanks for the content. My pleasure, man. Thanks for watching. What is the difference between the different 300s? I think it's just aesthetic. I don't think there's any ballistic difference or anything like that. The, actually, I'll tell you what the difference is. The Remington is cheaper. Other than that, I don't think there's anything. Flizzard Bow Comp in the Halloween event. Hey, maybe. If I could convince them to do Those it. Those are some nice tracks. I would. Want to follow them. I do want to follow them. As we just picked up a small buck track. Well done. Farming sim stream on YouTube? Maybe. I want to spend 500k EM, but I'm not sure. 500k? Wouldn't that be like $5,000? Or maybe 4000 I guess, if you bought it 50 EM at a time. Or 5000 Math is hard. The one skin for the 300 on Classic looks like the Call of the Wild 243. The Carbon? That might be what I have on me. This one? I have a two-star adult albino. Whitetail, can he make five-star? If he gets the three-star adult, he has a pretty good shot at it. If he goes from two-star adult to two-star mature or three-star mature, almost certainly not. Why don't you use the 338 in Wayne the Hunter? It's a little bit overpowered, so there's some meat wastage and you don't make as much money from your kills. Which you would think, like... Ah, you know, you don't need to make enough money. You have 100k, you're good. It's dwindling fast. <laughs> We've been killing a lot of good stuff. You know, like we're killing five stars in Transylvania. We have a bunch of rares that we're going to tax. Those are going to be full body mounts. We're going to take down previous full body mounts and put those on the wall. It adds up. The taxidermy can really be expensive in Wave Hunter. Uh, have ever played Pro Hunts? I have it, and I played it a tiny bit. It wasn't... I didn't love the style. That's that small buck, but I guess we ought to kill it. Here's the thing. So, uh, Binky, I don't know if you guys know him. He's a classic creator. He and I were talking about this recently. If you look at all the leaderboard whitetail, by the way, our 200, we shot literally right there. Uh, anyway, if you look at all the leaderboard whitetail and go through them, the weights, most of them will be like sub 90 kg while I'm sitting here. And if I could simply switch it to like screen capture to show you this I would but it's gonna be a pain so I'm just gonna read a couple out okay whitetail typical number one on the leaderboard is a 204 taking forever to load you were here for the 200 whitetail that was a moment in time for sure uh weight 99 kilo that one was actually pretty thick let's go to number two as we wait for this lad to come in. Also a 204. You were here as well? Isn't this the place you got your 200? It is indeed. Number two, also 99 kilo. How interesting. Typically, this is not the case. My 200 weighed 81 kilo, for reference. Da, da, da. Let's go to number three. It's a 203.8. That was definitely one of the streams of all time. It was one of the streams of all time. There we go, 82 kilo, 82.5 was the 203. And we could keep going, and we're going to see a lot of sub-90 kilo bucks. And basically uh, all that tells you is, just because you track every max estimate track you find, 85 to 100 kilo, it doesn't mean you're always finding the biggest bucks on the map. If you have one that's like 75 to 90, yeah, that would be the estimate, or 70 to 85, is it great odds that it's big? No. Could it be? The evidence would suggest yes. How long will the new weapon skins be on the classic market? As far as I know, like, this Summer Fiesta event's going to end, right? Uh, end of this month or something like that. The creator skins will then be available in the store. I think they'll be available forever. I don't think they're limited time. You're a sub-90 kg buck? Thank you. You hear this sound? I'm drumming with Shadow Stomach. She keeps looking at me like, what are you doing? 
Just joined How Bad Was the Wedding Hangover? I actually wasn't hungover. I got... I got pretty toasted. Uh, <laughs> By the time I did my best man speech, I was... I wasn't nervous, which was good. And it was because I had a few beverages by then. But I was so concerned that I was going to, like, slur my speech or whatever. So after I was done, the first thing I did was, like, lean over to my brother. Because obviously I was sitting right next to him. I was like, did I sound drunk? And he was like, no, you were good. So that was excellent. And I actually, by the end of the, I actually drove home. Like, by the time it was time to leave, we had help clean up and stuff. I was fine. Oh, boy, this would be good. Outline... Oh my god, we hit him. <laughs> Doesn't look like we hit him particularly well. Oh, we also shot a doe, I guess. <laughs> that didn't really go to plan. Gut shot, maybe somebody will find that. Did anybody go there? Yeah, oh, my path's off. On. A few waters? Yeah. Why you not stream on Twitch? Uh, cause Monday is YouTube day. Just shot my first buck on Classic, about to check the score. Nice. Nothing went right on that one, it really didn't. Can't even find a deer? It takes, it takes time to get used to the pacing and stuff of Classic. What was your deer? 115? Not bad. Average size buck. Uh, what vehicle did you drive home? Well, at, oh yeah, because of my truck. At the moment we're renting a Ford Fusion. Which, you want to know something really annoying. My insurance company's just like, they have just decided to not talk to me. I'm like, hey, uh, you know, you know how I pay for insurance? You're supposed to, like, insure me when things happen. Anyway, I've not heard from them in like a week and a half. They haven't said a thing. The rental car company has been told that my truck is totaled. I haven't. They haven't told me that. And I'm just like, what is going on? Oh no, Mel, that's unfortunate. Twelve. <laughs> Can't wait for rifle season hunt with my 243. It's, it's coming up fast. Like We're halfway through August. It's insane to think about that, at least for me. Can't find re find a herd of black wildebeest that had two three-star adults? Oh dear. Buzz around on the UTV if you gotta. Might need new insurance, maybe. I just switched insurance, because the last I had Allstate prior, they were a pain to work with, too. Buying alcohol, how old are you, sir? 12. What's up, Brad? How's it going, dude? Goofy elk? Nice. Hey, what's going on, Survivor? Hope it all gets straightened out. Glad you have a rental. Yeah, at least we've been able to you know, get around and stuff. My hope is, maybe they'll get back to me here, because I just called them today. And of course, he didn't answer. But maybe he'll get back to me here this week. Because I have found one, like a truck that I'd like to buy. So, you know, I kind of need to get the insurance money to pay the pre previous truck off. It's kind of a problem. What's up, Alexander? I'm doing good. How about you? Wait, Hunter, I have a greater kudu here that has three three-star adults. you think they'll be five stars? I say that I have a good chance of it anyway. I don't think they're guaranteed, but pretty good chance. My first was a 498 score black wildebeest. Did it feel bigger than, like, a regular, like, say, a one-star black wildebeest? Because I can't tell if the horns actually get bigger on them. What's your favorite trophy other than your whitetail in Classic? Hmm. Well, we did kill a... It was actually back-to-back -back weeks. We killed like a 357 and a 358 non-typical mule deer on stream. Two weeks in a row, like huge non-typicals. The first one was on loggers, and it was actually with a... Um, 217 typical or something. So that was entered into the super rare gallery, but... You know, sort of a lesser super rare, I guess. I was telling the story earlier of a uh, 1166 piebald feral hog that I shot. So it's probably that one. The only thing about that one is, like, the trophy shot didn't save, the recording didn't work. There's next to no evidence other than a hunt stat somewhere probably in 2015. Like, 
You're streaming your job or do you have a normal job? He's saying I'm not normal. No, yeah. Uh, streaming, YouTube, content creation in general. It's been my job since January 2018, I think. You're a wildebeest? Thank you. Discovered to max the amazing at spot and stock in a video game. It's a good skill to have. How did my grinding disappear? What's that mean? Disappear how so? Out of curiosity, by the way, I haven't asked this. How many people in the chat right now are in the Flinter competition in Classic? Uh, what was your job before streaming? Well, I worked on a farm in high school. Uh, they had like a fall harvest thing where they do like a corn maze and they had... Um, I don't know how many acres of pumpkins and gourds they would sell. They also sold like bundles of corn stalks. So one of the things we'd have to do... As this moose is about to charge us, we'll let it. Where are you going? I'm over here. I'll get back to that, I promise. Okay, listen. My arm's getting tired. You're lame. All that. Anyway. Um, so one of the jobs we had to do, we'd have to go out into the cornfields, pick the corn, throw it into the truck, and then cut down the corn stalks with like a... What do they call them? Like a scythe or whatever? Not a scythe. Maybe. Whatever that harvesting... I can't remember the name of it anymore. Old-timey harvesting blade on a handle. Big curved blade. So stuff like that, I did that for like three or four years. Then I worked at the college that I attended for 15 minutes before I dropped out. I worked in their dish room for three years. Those, those were the only two like official jobs I had outside of doing YouTube. Sickle, thank you, yes. You were sort of with an S. Thanks to tacos, I have to take a 5 star cootie with the 1903 Springfield iron sights. Good luck with that. Those iron sights are non existent. Is that true to life, by the way? Like, is that just how they are? Surely there's iron sights on them. It was a 1903, like, scopes weren't. You know? I don't, I don't know. Did you also have a hammer? No, but I know what you're talking about. How rare are diamond saltwater crocs? Not terribly rare as far as I can tell. My only friend on classic is Doc. Doc's not really your friend. He'll yell at you for everything you do. He's fake. Gotta go to sleep, see by. Sounds good, man. Appreciate you hanging out. Stickles are cool. I'd say so. A sickle's the thing on the USSR flag you're talking about aside? No, I think it is a sickle. Sickle. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we used. How did you spell scythe? Because I want to look up that too. S-C-Y... Like the Pokemon. Nope, yep, we used a sickle. Sickle is the little one, side is the long boy. We had the small lads. Shoot a pheasant with a 300 he yells at you? He would. You think Doc's your friend until he sends you a complaint? Yeah, I know. You start, like, shooting stuff and leaving it lay, all of a sudden he's big mad at you. Back when I got started in the game, like, I would, you know, who knows, let a mule deer lay in somewhere on the map, not claim it, and he would send a message, and I'd respond, and I would, like, take offense to him yelling at me. Today is a good day? Good. Not a lot of Mondays are. Granted, for an hour, then I crash, now I can't see the deer in my Codex latest harvest. I've never heard of that. Like, you're you're still the same level, you're still on the same map that you last hunted on? Because there's an autosave, like, every couple of minutes. I remember when I started, I'd ask him for regulations. <laughs> I 
I was, this was just a random multiplayer server. And it was funny, be, I didn't even, I never made the connection until years later. But I happened to be hunting with in this random server with a guy who I would eventually meet through hunting with DD33. Um, and we were both pretty new to the game. We are hunting Rougarou Bayou. And I think Black Bears may have been still fairly new to the game at the time. So we see this, like, you know, we've seen a couple bears, we've shot some. And then here's this red-colored bear. And we both knew rares existed in Classic, so we were sure we just found, like, the rarest thing ever. And I think it was because, you know, we were, like, making an attempt to type quickly and try to kill this thing. But I remember just, like, typing really quick things like, see red bear, red bear ran. Like, things like that. Just, like, really small, dumb sentences. And I, I can't remember, I shot something and left it. And eventually I killed said red bear. It's just a cinnamon, small female. Not special in the slightest, it would turn out. But Doc messaged me because I left something lay. And the only thing I responded was like, but I saw the red bear. <laughs> like, surely you can excuse this. Still hunting, still hunting, John. Running the river on Val is kind of boring. How dare you? I love the, the river. Remember you told me to start off on my new account? I have 160 to waste. Uh, 160 what? What are we wasting? Caveman English? Literally, like, just the most simple explanations of what was going on. Gotta go. Sounds good. Appreciate you hanging out today. We shall hopefully catch you in the next stream. Really? My first line of kill was a 5-star. That's pretty cool, dude. I'm still waiting for that one 3-star to make it. We have a couple 4-stars around, too, that I absolutely need to find again. Started playing Classic when I was, like, 11. Yeah, I'm the same way, dude. If I look at old DMs, it's like, what was wrong with me? There is no zeroing in Classic. Um, your guns are basically going to be accurate from 1 meter to 200 meters. If you're beyond 200, you're going to have to aim a little bit high. Uh, bows... Let's take this range finding sight off. So the three pin sights on bows, so that would be the Parker Python and the Pulsar. Those sight pins are 20, 40, and 60 meters. The Pulsar has a different five pin. The Parker Python and also the Flantro Parker Python have the range finding sight. Now those pins are 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 meters. Just gives you 10 yard increments. You would think, but I felt like the game just handed me one and I was hoping it would take a while. I get that. Like, I, someone asked me what I was hoping my first 5-star would be. And I think I said, like, who knows. I might have said Hamilton Guinea Found is one of my first. Because I, I wanted that, like, I felt like my K-Buffalo were handed to me. Because I got two, like, in the same area. I wanted to be special. The difference between the two bow sights and Wayne the Hunter. I haven't messed with anything but the 3-pin. The other one's almost like a holographic single pin single dot scope thing where do you recommend going for red deer on classic I'd go to Valdebois start at the southern lodge head to the river walk right up the river you'll see a bunch of them three pin sides go to the I like it a lot I like it better than the crossbow scope It do be a little quiet around these parts. I don't know where all the deer are. What can you get the Hunter Classic on? How much is it? So it's free to play, but as with any free to play game, you can also make purchases to like speed up your, let's call it grind as you level up. Uh, it's available on Steam. If you go to thehunter.com, I believe it redirects you to Steam now. It used to be like, they had their own launcher online, but I'm pretty sure everything's Steam. Most complicated way to say Red Dot? I, I mean, yeah, but like... If anybody says Red Dot, nobody thinks, oh, a bow sight. So I tried to, like, differentiate. Which it is effectively the same thing, so you got a good point. I don't know, Tyler. Found a decent white tail, good deal. Any 37 calibers you can use for 370k? I was trying to think. I don't think there are. 
There's the 470 when we get to that. There's a 405 in Classic. That'll be, you know, within a reason. Um, that's a huge Elk Decker. <laughs> What's the... Um, is it, it's just 300 Grand Arrows. So that wouldn't work. On which game, Beck? That's where I play the 100 Classic on Steam works just fine? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can play it anymore. It used to have issues. There were a bunch of issues on, like, Steam with the updates and stuff, but over the years they got all that sorted out. Really, Brad? I, the only animal dying in the T-Pos I had, a Gemsbuck killed me, and I despawned, like, back at the lodge. So, I can't help but think this thing's gonna end up aggressive. There's a mission to shoot one in the heart. Stand up, you. Wow, did the wind mess with that. That hit 12 miles from where we aimed. That was so bad. That was like 20 yard, like 20 meters. See, that wasn't even... I've never seen the wind pushing arrow so far at that distance. Anyway, yeah. The only time I've had the animal typos is, is what I said, like, where I got killed and despawned. That frozen Gensbuck was hilarious. That whole thing was so dumb. Like, I, the fact that I got killed by a Gensbuck is pretty big sad. Can you play Classic on console? Unfortunately, it's PC only. The 375 is actually a 37 cal. They just call it that. The sad thing is that we don't have a 375 in any of the games. Just a bit outside. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Just a mile. I remember, David, my first hunt on Timbergold. Grizzly bears were the first bears in the game they could call. Eventually, is that true? Was Timbergold... Oh, hold on a minute. I think that's true. I might be lying. No, I guess polar bears. Oh, polar bears might not have been in the game. Because they were later. I don't know. Either way, grizzly bears were able to call. Which black bears and brown bears can't. So I was hunting around Timbergold. And one leg roared just as a call. I was sure we were dead. I was so scared that one was coming to attack us. When were you killed by a Gemsbuck? The release day hunt, I think? It's a long video, like 30 minutes. And it's somewhere in the middle of that. Best deer rifle in Wade Hunter. Probably the 308 monoblock, to be honest. The 1903 is great as well. KG just found the good one. Mel, what are you saying in here? The autocorrect drugs are real. It's like the seven yard shard all over again. I almost said that wrong. It's so hard to screw up, but yet I did it. I have no idea how to get ads to work on YouTube Mobile. I also struggle to get those to work. <laughs> no, you're good, Mal. I was just kidding. I don't care. When ass is in here, you ought to see what he says. 9.3 is 366 cal? See if I'd have known that. I'd have just done that. We're past it already. It's too late. Where are we? Oh, wow. We made it pretty far. Look at us go. Biggest kill away the hunter? We have a 499 pheasant, which makes me sad. Our two biggest kills were pheasants. We have a 499 and a 498. Both from Transylvania. Outside of that, I only have like one or two 490s. I think I have a 493 moose and a 491 whitetail. With the first shot, but the second one nailed him. Nice. I was surprised, like... I just killed one of the 100 last night, not a 5-star. Killed a one-star adult, or one-star mature or something at 100 yards. Dropped him, in fact. So the bows are, might be a little overpowered. But after my experience with the woods bison with the crossbow, I made a lung shot, and then one shot was a touch too far back, and then I finally killed him with the third shot when I got close. So I was sure with the compound in the K-Buffalo, I'd have to be under 40 yards. Nope. Not at all. You have a 500 Ross's Goose? There you go. I don't have a 5-star Ross's Goose at all. 
First diamond, Red Fox today scored 14.38. Not bad. We got trolled by a level 9 Red Fox today. Uh, why'd you go Parker Python and not Snakebite? The Snakebite actually wasn't an option. So the way I understood it, the way they said it, was they could only work with, like, the good models they had. The Snakebite, I think, may have been in the game on launch. At the very least, it was one of the first bows, or, or sorry, one of the first weapons out of the game. Most certainly the first bow out of the game. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, buck in from the tower. I'll jump. The Logger's Point trailer on YouTube has the snake bite in it, and I think it's 12 or 13 years ago. So that would mean, A, it's a really old model. But probably more importantly, B, EW didn't even make it. That would have been something that Emote made. And surely they still have access to the assets and whatever, but it's probably not like as high quality a model. Let's look up Logger's Point trailer. This is by Vantage Point Games. I thought Emote did them. Oh, Expansive Worlds has it 13 years ago. But it also has this... So Vantage Point must just like... Maybe they repost stuff. Anyway. Yeah. The Snake Bud is in the game 13 years ago. So it's an old model. I'm, I'm sure that like... That was the problem. I would have loved like... You know, the Snake Bites... <laughs> For good reason, arguably the best bow in the game. I would have gone that route if it were possible, but a lot of people like the Parker, myself included. If you had to hunt anywhere in real life, where would you want to hunt? If finances were not a problem, I still think it would be Alaska Caribou, to be honest. That's like my dream hunt, with a bow. How do I get out of here? Is a 173 white tail good for the comp? Um... I'm guessing you'll need one a little bit bigger, but it basically... So Mule Deer are going to be the biggest factor, because Mule Deer go all the way up to 245. Whitetail go up to around 200. Let's say 205, but I highly doubt anyone's killing a 205. So if you kill, like, a 240 Mule Deer, your 170... What was it? 173 Whitetail might be good enough. Blacktail, you'll almost certainly need a 190, because 190 Blacktail aren't that hard to find. So if it were me, I would stay on that map, Keep hunting Whitetail. Maybe hunt for Blacktail a little bit if you are on, um... Or what, what map are you hunting? That's more important here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, she got a no, Tim Bigel is the way. What's the smallest buck you shot in real life? Uh, my first buck was a little five point. Just a little forky with a brow tine. You killed a 203 for the comp, though? Because that's what I mean. What comp are we talking about? The Flinter competition. I got to actually create a comp, which was pretty cool. As uh, all of the classic creators, at least the one of the participate did. Is the comp only typical? It is, yeah. That wasn't my choice, by the way. It would have been fun to do a not typical comp. Is it pouring rain where you are? Are we talking about the real lives? It was. It's still spitting, it looks like. Not for the comp, just in general. That's a good deer, though. 203 was the size of the, the biggest white tail I've ever seen, and I didn't shoot it. I sort of helped guide a new player to it. Yeah, one additional time, bro. I tried to do the three under method, but I had a hard time, like, drawing back as far as I need to. So I got to get some serious work in with that. Someone emotional damage him while he's talking? Get him to shut up for a minute? That's how I read that. I like the classic deer. They just, they did them better. You know? Never gotten a good black toe, should I stay in red feather? Okay, you're in red feather. I would if I were you. So I don't know where you're at. Where you shot your white tail, but I'm, I'm certain you're like, oh! Anyway, I'm certain you're, like, south of, like, say, this line, right? So if I were you, I'd keep hunting around wherever, wherever you are. Don't take it too fast. But eventually, I would work my way up north, like, up through this swampy area, probably 
all the way up onto this like northwest area, you're gonna find a bunch of blacktail up there, and maybe you maybe you can smoke a 190. If you don't get a 190, this attempt is not like wow, you're not gonna have a chance. You have 10 attempts. I'd make the most of those for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'd hang around on that server and keep hunting for blacktail at least. Surprisingly, that wasn't me, for once. More ammo in Wade Hunter. Uh, walk up to the little like gun safe. It's like a black little storage vault looking thing. Just open it and close it. That'll there's there's no like button you have to hit. Just as soon as you access the storage, that restocks your ammo. She's sneaky, was it, Kyla? Hmm. Someone done it out there. We lost to the Cardinals? Who's even like... Colt McCoy, I guess, is going to be their starter, right? I don't even know who their third stringer is. And he played last year. I already forget. Animal rendering classic? Uh, around 300 meters. I want to fast travel, but... Where to? Here? I'll take it. You think there should be a cost to uh, ammunition way, the hunter? I don't mind it working the way that it is. I wouldn't mind if it had a cost. I think it could go either way. Doesn't make a difference to me. Something like that, Fro. I almost bet the Ravens to beat the Eagles, but then I thought I'm not going to be a degenerate and bet preseason, and then I beat the, bet the Steelers to bet... Uh, goodness gracious. Bet the Steelers to beat... Bet beat whoever they played. The Bucks. And I made all of four dollars. Wow. Is the three thirty eight good on Wait, on Call of the Wild, I guess we're talking about? It is. Uh is a one sixty seven point six a big diamond big horn sheep? I mean it would be the smaller horns. There's like a there's big horns. This is stupid because they're called big horn. Let's say there's a big set of horns and a small set of horns. 167 will be the smaller set of horns. But a diamond's a diamond, yeah. <laughs> Sir, have you been drinking tonight? No, just stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were saying you were a degenerate for betting preseason. No, I was. I am. You should, betting preseason is the dumbest thing you could do, and I did it anyway. You know why, though? The Steelers radio guys talked me into it. So we were um, we were driving home from the wedding rehearsal Friday night. And, of course, I turned on the pregame because I'm an addict. And uh, what's his name? Not Jerry Dulac, the other guy. Mike Pursuta, his name is. They were talking about the game and, like, basically... They, they talked about the line. It was a spread. I don't remember what it was. Two and a half points, I think. And he said, basically, you know, like, the Steelers backups are Mitch Trubisky and Mason Rudolph, and the Bucks were Kyle Trask and whoever. The Steelers are going to win. And I was like, he's got a point. So I put $5 on them, and I mean, to be fair, he was right. They did win. But I still shouldn't be betting preseason. That just is not a good idea. There's so much unpredictability with that. Small males all around. Ben Denucci. Ben Denucci is a big male. That's a nice bear energy. Nice male. Super struggling with getting a cape with a bow for the way the hunter missions. Honestly, what I would do if I were you, if you don't mind using hunter sense, like as long as you're not a ranger difficulty, uh, if you can get within like 100 meters. The bow will get him at that. Just turn on the hunter sense. Use that little dot it's going to give you to aim with. It'll get him. You should definitely have a collab with KG. I mean, never say never. Our content's just so different. I just can't imagine it flowing well. You know what I mean? Holy, is there a decent buck on this map? <laughs> They're all tiny. What's your favorite beer do you not drink? So, like... I'm not like a craft beer guy or anything. I don't know all the stuff like that. I'll typically just drink light beer, and to be honest, 
they're all pretty much the same, but Miller Lite's what I've been drinking lately. Anything yet? Nothing really to speak of in classic so far. Bunch of smoles. Do a little old-timey tactic. <laughs> and then screw up the shot. Brilliant. Will it get double lung? Uh, I can't promise it'll get double lung. Single lung it'll get. It might hit double lung, but I can't promise it's going to have a lot of energy left. So it, it could also fall short. I'm a craft beer guy? Wait, who said that? Not me. Do you like the Steelers' chances this year? I don't like anybody's chances in the AFC, to be 100% honest. There's, there's so much talent. But I think they have a real shot at making the playoffs. And if they get in, and if, they're, if the offensive line and Najee have it figured out like they did at the end of last year, like they were running for 150-something yards a game at the end of last year. If they can play like that, then yeah, I, I think they legit have a shot at at least competing. Serengeti Logger? I mean, if they mention it in the song called Africa, it's got to be good. Bush or Budweiser? Man, I can't drink Bush. Bush is the only light beer that really tastes different to me. And my personal opinion is it is dishwater, but my brother drinks it, so. Just a, just a preference. Any good bucks on your cameras this year? Nothing crazy. Um, we haven't seen our main target buck in Mom and Dad's yet, so I'm a little concerned. But, but up until like a couple years ago, he didn't show up in the summer. So I'm hoping maybe he's just gone back to that. Uh, there's one here that looks like he's going to be pretty good, but we haven't seen him in two months now. The thing was, he didn't set off the camera. He was in the background and another deer set it off. So, he may be up there all the time and just never getting to that point that the camera goes off. Other than that, not, not much of anything. This isn't Call of the Wild? Sure it is. You just gotta believe. Water has more alcohol than Bud Light. My girlfriend's aunt drinks Bush Light with ice in it. So as if light beer isn't water done enough, she... Oh, boy. Bush light with ice in it. Not for me. Imagination. <laughs> What's up, Anthony? Hi from the Netherlands. Appreciate you tuning in, man. For me, Classic is much better and more realistic. In my opinion, Classic is the best hunting game ever made, and I will stand by that. The other buck was down there. I'm pretty sure it's the one that we saw that was small, so I'm not really worried about it, but I probably should have killed that. Oh well. Has he... No? Yes? That might be... Alright, we'll just try to get it. Where would you go for whitetail and blacktail on red feather? Okay. So, let me... Um, I'm going to turn off all these paths and stuff so we can see decently well. By the way, there's some space in the server if anybody wants to join. Alright, so for Whitetail, if it were me, I'd start at this outpost. I'd make a little loop up past this tower, maybe across this island and down, and then up through this area. Probably to about here. This side, like, basically from here all the way, like everything that I drew over here, that's the most important part. That's where you're going to find most of your bucks. Now, there are whitetail, like, all the way th over through here. Like, in this area, we're, we're sitting right here, and we've seen three bucks. Like, they are around, but the west side seems to be better. When it comes to blacktail, they're mostly kind of on the west side. You'll get them through here a little bit, but I mostly find them, like, west of that area. I'd say the best part is up here, loaded with blacktail. The swamp here is good. This mountain's pretty good. You'll find them in through here. If you were to start a hunt looking for blacktail, I'd start here. Work your way straight up. And then just basically keep moving all the way northwest. Something like that. 
It's a long run if you don't have tents. Oh, hey, good timing. Uh, game password is Shadow, yes. All lowercase. She was barking at the time we made the game, so. Just said there's not much new for Classic. Yeah, but you know, the game's 14 plus years old. It's had a great run and it's still got a dedicated community. It'd be cool if we got more new species here and there, but I can't complain. Oh, nice, Maximus. I'll be there uh, for the first day. <laughs> Every time I get a pick, sack, hit stick in Madden, I think of that one Ricky Bobby quote. I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. I think of, like, random, well-known announcer uh, moments. Like, I just put... God, I can't shoot today. I just play Al Michaels in my head at all times. Classic 2 would be even better. Can you imagine if they did Classic 2? I'd love it. Uh, you gonna do a PA elk hunt vid this year? Uh, well, I don't have a tag, so I doubt it. So I got a four star mature kudu on my map on multiplayer. Maybe I can get tacos challenge out of the way. There you go. This one shouldn't be far. I would do wild things for Classic 2. If I had unlimited funding. I would be already like paying EW all the money to make Classic 2. Would Classic 2 just be a graphics we work a Classic? Honestly, yeah, because this is an opinion, but I think anybody who likes Classic would agree. Classic is perfect as is. I, I would hope they wouldn't be like, oh, we can make the the animal AI a little bit better, or we can make animal pathing a little bit better. Just leave it as is. Everybody loves it. Just better graphics, more maps, more weapons. Good to go. I would die for Classic 2. Make that sacrifice. Would you go black tail deer hunting in Oregon? Yeah, why not? I think it'd be fun. I'm Deer Slayer, but I have to go eat. No worries. We're kind of close together, so by the time you get back, I'll be out of your way. Ooh, got a monistic forest on your map. Nice. No deer? There's our... Wait a minute. <laughs> Who shot this? Busted. Littering on my map. I littered on my own map. It's fine. Classic 2.0 on console too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it on console as well. It doesn't, like, translate great to console, only because typically console games are kind of faster paced and stuff, but as much as people love it, I think it would work in Classic. So I never picked up a track from that second one that we shot. No, you're good, man. I was just screwing around. No worries. Um, I never picked up a track from that second buck we shot, so I don't know exactly where it is. Just save that guy yelling from Doc? I know. I aim to please. I have a low albino lion on my map that comes into low fitness call. At what age should I shoot him? I'd get him to mature and then just kill him. Because the thing is... The fur might change a tiny bit. But... It's going to look the same 1 star or 5 star in your lodge, you know? What's that? Not bad. If you did make Classic 2, would it be free or would it cost money to buy the game? Well, I guess that depends. In this... Um, third, twelfth dimension, we'll call it. Where I have all the monies and can fund it, it'd be free to play. Um, if I didn't actually have all the monies, I guess I would probably have it cost a little money, otherwise you know, I might go bankrupt and then have to close the game down. You wouldn't want that. I guess. Okay. Why, are you cold? No. Are you chilly? No. 
<laughs> it would cost $12.12, yeah. Classic should stay free with microtransactions? Uh, yeah, I think that, that could work. Although, I th think console players would be more... Like, against that than PC players would. It's a thing on console, too, but... You know, EA is hated for their microtransactions, right? Do a port and charge 50 bucks? Is that what they're charging for Red Dead? Like, the original? If the Deer Hunt series is back up and running, I would die for it. Deer Hunt. Not Deer Hunter, like... The Deer Hunter 1, 2, 3, 4 Deer Hunt? I don't know if I know Deer Hunt. Five-star albino keep buffalo with the bows, the ultimate trophy? I would say lion, because albino lions seem far more rare. But the problem is you can call them in. So, like, five-star albino cape buffalo with a bow might be a more challenging hunt. EA's hated for existing? I mean, th yeah, they also, like... I'm sure they're, in their opinion, they're making improvements to Madden and stuff, but... Madden's generally, like, a, a roster update and a couple of new animations every year. It's like the, the Mahomes diving throw. Which, like, you know, cool, I guess, that they added that, but... Is that an improvement to the game? Depends on who you ask. We were talking, David, on um, Friday's stream. About the Big Buck Hunter Arcade. I keep getting, like, Facebook ads for um, Mercari. And it's always for a Big Buck Hunter Arcade, like, cabinet. And I'm like, I would buy that right now. And then I click on the link. And it's not actually a thing. They're just clickbaiting me with that pretend item can wait to take my bow and shoot my two five star albino kid buffalo too <sighs> deer hunter 2005 season was amazing okay we were talking about this earlier deer hunter 2005 season was cabela's right and then deer hunter 2005 was like atari or who i don't even know who made that You have the Big, uh, Big Bug Hunter arcade game on Xbox? I didn't even know it was on Xbox. You can play it on PC. What? I've been wasting my life. Uh, what was the hunting game in that April Fool's video? That was the first Cabela's Big Game Hunter. It was like 1998. Did you know 2005 was the story? I kind of thought it was. Splinter is bad, yes. Remember the Trey Lance? Trey landed the 49ers. Trey and the Dolphins, Tyreek, Waddle, and Bradley Chubb. And what have they done with it? Just kidding. Kinda. Uh, hardest animal to hunt in what game? Because if you're talking about classic, I would say almost certainly Lynx, Pumas would be a close second. Got a five-star spring buck yet? No, I can't tell if my four-star died or if I can't find the herd again. I haven't looked super hard yet. Just kind of mediocre. Mediocre meal. The car is OP in Wave 100? Yeah, you can get closer than you should probably be able to. They talked about that in the official Discord. It's basically like... The way they do the, um, like, the alert and spook system is, like, a build-up of stuff. And, I like, the reason that the way that you spot and stock, like, it's couple steps, stop. Couple steps, stop. It's that build-up effect, and by stopping, the build-up is not there. Because you're moving so fast in the vehicles, the build-up is almost that, or the vehicle is, like, ahead of the build-up. You can run over stuff with the car? Yeah. Mike White's better than Tua. Together, they might play 17 games. Maybe. They didn't manage it with Bridgewater and uh, Tua last year. Hello? Is that thing sleeping right there? Another very average buck. Yeah, he was. Imagine that. 
It's a heavy buck, too. I'm sure I spotted him and he wasn't big. That was a really good estimate. I must have spotted him because the estimate wouldn't have said 90 to 100. Yep, there he is. Very much an average male. Anybody around here? We can just make him dead. A little low. Should still get him, I think. Just got the mark where we last see him at, which should be about there. Just a thick lad. How do you get into the flinter lobby? Uh, is it full right now? It is full at the moment. The password is shadow, all lowercase. Uh, should somebody leave? Wait. I was on a day one of Wait, day one of what? Now I'm confused. Is the melanistic- Is the melanistic red fox for the hunter missions a real fox you can kill? You can't kill it, I don't think. Yep, that's the password, Josh. But at the moment, the server's full. I was getting the perk of hearing at a greater distance and sent a wolf to the moon going 60 on way the hunter and my dad laughed when he saw it going flying. This is still the best I've had was setting myself to the moon and landing on a mountain goat. Tyler was streaming too so I like muffled my laughter but I was dying. Drunk stream? Maybe for Kylo. Oh, that's true. Did you record that? No, I wasn't recording. I wish I was. It was so funny. Because you know how the UTV is. When you go flying into the air, it's not like, you know, a nice slow arc. It's flipping around a million times and then just splat right on a mountain goat. What happens if you accidentally shoot a competing hunter? You can't in classic. It'll just make you put the gun down. You would bring back the throwback Thursday games? I've seen that a lot uh, today. Ooh, Legendary Adventures is one I kind of want to play, though. I think that is on PC. Gotta go supper time? Sounds good, man. Appreciate you hanging out. Let's see if that deer died. It should have. It may have. It may not have. Oh yeah, he's laying there right there, dude. Right where we last saw him. Still remember the flying UTV hitting the bison? Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Like where we came up over the hill and just launched right into one. Second like 11% too, it was like great management. Hmm. I wonder if this is shallow enough to just cross. Such a cool lad. Well, I'm just pushing out, which means that I'm going to lose my shot at getting this challenge over. Oh no! What? What's glitching in multiplayer? I didn't know there were such issues. Must be a Broncos Raiders or Chargers fan who's mad they won't get to the playoffs in the next decade. Justin Herbert's good. They'll if they like, you know, get another coach. It'll be all right. Classic was such a different game. It was, but it's so good. There's never been anything like it. There really hasn't. Gotta take a nap. Sounds good, man. Appreciate you hanging out today. If you're ever a character on a new map, you need to save Big Mail at least once in the story missions. Oh, Big Mail, 12, Holy. It'll all be worked into there. Don't you worry. I want to be Warden... Warden Flantro. The ultimate management for way the hunter used the UTV. I mean, if you're really, if you got a, a good eye for like uneven racks and stuff, it probably is better. Um, how did you get a get a hold of a PC copy of Cabela's Outdoor Adventures 2005? Are you talking? About, let me look this up here. I don't remember the year being in it. That's why I'm.
But you're talking about, um, like the one with the non-typical mule deer and the albino mule deer, like those missions and videos and stuff. God, that was COVID times. Those videos got so many views. That was cool stuff, like bringing people back to their childhood when all that was going on. Uh, yeah, I just bought it on eBay. Just searched up Cabela's Outdoor Adventures PC, and it, I bet I bought it for like 10 bucks or less. Everything except for Deer Hunter 2005, those old games, super cheap. The April Fools, Cabela's Big Game Hunter, the original from 1998, $2. The character's dialogue and story in Way of the Hunter is so much better than Call of the Wild. Obviously not the most important thing in these games, but it's underrated. The lately, like the Emerald Coast one, the Reventuli Coast one, the voice acting is fine, I guess, but it's the the amount of lines they have, they just drone on and on and on. I feel like Way of the Hunter, sometimes they're a little lengthy, but not as bad. Uh, Deer in 2005 season also came out for the PC. Yeah, I had the PC version. I liked it. I actually thought that was a good game. It was funny... Because this was well after 2005. I'd bet it was 2010, 11. My brother and I each bought one. And this is before Deer Hunter 2005 got super expensive. So I bought 2005 season. He bought 2005. Like, just the the game everybody knows from Atari. And it turns out we played his way more. Very first buck to grunt while hunting for your comp is a little non-tip. Dude, so many people are killing whitetails. Sorry, non-tips. Whitetails? I mean, that too. I've seen probably like six or seven non-tips today from people hunting for my comp. The way the hunter is mature the best, mature is like the oldest classification of age, yeah. Was the best hunting game till the hunter? Honestly, I'd have to think about that. Probably. Because even like all the newer Cabela's games, Cabela's hunting games since Outdoor Adventures, which Outdoor Adventures is a little newer. I did like it a lot, but I think uh, Deer Hunter was more realistic. They were all like shooting galleries. So I think I'd agree with that. They had a good run of like five years there where it was the best. If you want the Big Buck arcade game for Xbox, you can have it since I can't use it anymore. Somebody said it's available on PC. I'll have to look for that because I don't have like the ability to record it on Xbox anyway. Uh, in your opinion, what's the most... Oh, what's the best antlered or horn diamond in Call of the Wild in terms of how impressive it is? Big horns, Cape Buffalo are good. Hmm. Mule deer aren't bad. I'm trying to think through all the things, and I'm sure I'm going to miss some. I don't hate Rocky Mountain Elk, but I don't love, like, the way they designed their antlers. White tail, I just, I don't know. Probably Big Horns Cape Buffalo for me. I love the Water Buffalo too, but they they take that a little too far. So unfortunate there isn't more demand for the Hunter Classic too. There's, you know, within the Classic community there's a bit, but the Classic community is a pretty small night, night. Tight knit community. You have a discount code on beard product. Oh, well, good to know. I like the back end compliment. First block is 178. Not bad. I'd, I'd say, like, if it were me doing this comp, I would do, like, Red Feather or White Heart to hunt for Whitetail and Blacktail. If I got a Whitetail over 180, I'd move to Blacktail, try to get a 190, and then Mule Deer with whatever attempts I'd have left, I'd hit Timber Gold. I feel like you could get like at least a 220 or a 230 with some decent effort. A pretty small nightclub. Yep. <laughs> That's it. I will buy you Legendary Adventures just to bring back Throwback Thursday games. Well, I don't know if you were in here when I was saying it. And it would be tough specifically with Legendary Adventures. But what I want to do for Throwback Thursday is 
It's actually for one, change them to Flashback fr Fridays, and I actually have like an additional video for those weeks, but I wouldn't do it nearly every week. And basically, like play through the entire game, record it, edit it into like the 40 best minutes, you know, 40 minute to an hour long episodes, and then basically just have like one video for the entire game, because it gets... Older games, you know, you do like a 10 episode, 20 episode series, it gets a little lengthy. Half the classic community is in here? I mean, I'd consider that a compliment. Look at this majestic male walking up here on this rock. Stopping right on Pride Rock. <sighs> Dead. I can tell you when I played Deer Hunter 2005, Season Unsuccessful. When I did the playthrough of uh, Deer Hunter 2005, I actually struggled a decent bit. I had a hard time with that one. Not because the game, like, it was hard to find big ones. I really, I was putting in a lot of off-camera time. The 200, though, we go to 200 Whitetail in Deer Hunter 2005 before in Classic. Um, that was pure luck. That one was not like a, I played for four hours to find this. Just happened while doing a regular hunt. Alright, we'll take that. I'm seeing a bunch of elk moving around over there, and I don't see any big males yet. Oh dear. Have you considered Bird Hunter 2003? I, I haven't really considered it. I never played it. Which, I think I did one... Oh yeah, um, the... Original Big Game Hunter, that was my first time playing that. I think all the rest of the throwbacks I had played before, so it, it, you know, sort of blurs the line of throwback, at least from my perspective. I thought so too, Andrew. Thought about it, but I really enjoyed the Hunter 4 World Class Record Bucks. That one had world record typical and non-typical for Blacktail, Mule Deer, and Whitetail. And I would always get so close. Like, I'd kill... And I was, I was so dumb. <laughs> but, like, I remember I, I had, like, a, I'd start a new account, hunt for, you know, days on end during the summer. And I'd get, like, the world record non-typical mule deer. And I'd get the typical. I had typical, non-typical white tail. And then I'd find, like, the non-typical black tail, and I'd miss it or something. It would get away. I don't know why, but my brother and I were convinced if you missed a world record that you could never get one again, which was the dumbest idea. But yeah, that's how we thought it worked. Oregon Trail. I almost thought about streaming Oregon Trail for a 24-hour stream, but I don't know. That might be the kind of like put people to sleep game, which you don't want. It's entertaining if you're not 20 hours into a stream. No, uh, how'd I do that? Uh, I wanted to ID that other cow. I tried to be fast and I was too fast. I clicked too many things. <laughs> Have I missed anything? Uh, I mean, frankly, as far as special things, not necessarily. We got a troll red fox like 20 minutes into the call the wild portion of the stream. Um, I don't think we've had any big males in classic so far. We've shot a fair few animals. Like, we're going to be at 15 harvest here and we've been in classic for an hour and a half. But yeah. Oh, ah, I saw a better elk run away. I don't know how big that was. We better go look for that. Figures they'd run that way. I want to work in trail stream. I don't even own, like, and there's so many versions of it. Like, I'd have to find a good one. The cheating technique, it's called spawn mashing. If you look at someone's stats... And all their hunts are like a minute long. They're spawn mashing. They also did a Big Game Hunter 2006 Adventures. I want to say that's the one that uh, G-Man did a playthrough of on his channel. So that was the reason I didn't do it. I didn't want to like step on his toes. That's a really good game too. That's the one with like the Wolverine 
Tool Elk. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's his name? Tom Halleck, right? You know, you look vaguely familiar. Can't put my finger on it, though. That guy. Unless it's me on Ruguru trying to fix my classic. No, it's not true. I'll spawn mashing. She's not. Her graphics are big broke. Two was the best? I had two on my old dinosaur computer, I'm sure. What's the one thing you think you still want to kill in classic that you have not? Ooh. I mean, a 400 non tip mule deer? Because while we've been hunting for a 400 Roosevelt elk here for a little over a year now since we got our 200 whitetail, that's been like our next focus, we have killed two of them. It was just pre trophy lodges, and I really want one in my lodge. A 400 non tip mule deer is not something we've ever killed. So that would be, I think, my number one. That and a rare bison, but I've kind of gotten over the wanting a rare bison thing. I actually don't know why I ever... Like, I do think they look cool, but I'm not sure why that was such an obsession of mine. Oh, nice, Isaac. I hope that works out. Da, da, da. Where is the bull track? Where it is is hiding from us. We marked it. It's got to be right here. Rip to me trying to find big bucks on loggers right now. Nothing but small males out here. I had... As the, one of the last attempts I did for the tree kiwi competition. I had a hunt like that too. I mean, I had a lot of bucks. And it was just 110 after 110 after 110. I finally killed a 178 or something at the end, but it took me like seven hours. Got a true rack diamond plains bison. Nice. I almost thought about hunting them for the Call of the Wild portion of today's stream and ended up doing Emerald Coast. Listen, Trax, one of you's got to be from the bull. Because he was here. He existed. Oh, that'll be it. Wait, looks like it would be a decent male. I mean, talk about retaining viewers, have someone pass out halfway through the stream and just keeps playing in the background while they're sleeping. As long as someone's still awake, it's not against terms of service. Stuck cow elk? Nothing wrong with a free kill. <laughs> Slayer, great ones, and source of depression for the rest of us normies? Accurate. Just killed a melt as a kangaroo. Nice, man. I really want one. I still have only had the one leucistic. I just saw something move. I think it was a cow. It's a long stream. I didn't think I'd catch it after work. How are we tonight? Dude, we're doing good, man. We uh, we got a troll red fox. Basically, the start of the call of the wild half of the stream. Went the rest of the hunt on Emerald Coast. Never really found anything that special after that. And then we're 15 kills in here on Classic. Got about 20, 25 minutes left. We just spooked a decent bull. So I'm trying to see if we can get that. Ooh, there's several bulls here. I'm hoping if we just like slowly crouch up over this hill, maybe glass around a little bit, give them some time, they'll just bugle at us. Finally found a blacktail that's a doe. Uh, if it just called, blacktail will travel in herds. So there's a chance that you've got like some bucks traveling with it. Found a pretty big buck on loggers yesterday. My biggest whitetail for forever in classic. Hmm, something just spooked. Uh, was from loggers. It was a 199 something, 0.251, I think. <laughs> pretty sure I know exactly what it was. And I didn't even like. I was calling him in, I was in some brush, he sort of walked by, I shot him. I had no idea how big he was. And for all that time, like, my biggest buck was one I didn't even, you know, freak out about because I just shot it. Hadn't even seen him. I think I'm realizing these roaming tracks aren't old. But did the black tail shoot back? So I bet we just spooked was the bull we're after. That's, uh, top tier work. 
Not looking good. See five and they're all does. Okay, then yeah, it's just gonna be a group of does. That'll happen. Took him with a 243, trying to rank up the GM to get other rifles. Yeah, that takes takes some time, but it, it's worth the effort. The the other guns are quite helpful. I'd love just to spot him and know how big he was, because I kind of thought I saw three back tines. It could have been a 330 with three back tines, but it also could have been like a 400. Got to check. Finding everything but black tail in the golden tree stand. Really? That's the one place where I probably shot the most 190s. That's not a bad place to sit. Harvest screen only showed one lung on the shot replay, but the mission got completed. Oh, well, as long as it works. No complaints. Those missions sound fun, though. I'm excited to do those. It's so dependent on the hunt for me, Clark. Like, basically, if I'm hunting... We did the KC comp on Wednesday stream. We had so many does. But when I'm just hunting this map, if I go up in Blacktail territory, I usually find a lot of bucks. It's like the game knows. Oh, you're hunting for Blacktail? Ah, eh, you can't have any of those then. What's up, Ryder? Miss anything? Uh, nothing super crazy to speak of. We had a troll red fox at the Call of the Wild stream and, uh... I don't even know. Have we shot a decent thing in Classic? We're, we're on the track of a pretty decent bull. I actually don't know how big he is. We saw him run. He looked okay. Yeah, that's a good spot, Clark. Uh, I'm trying to see where... Oh. Yeah, yeah. That... So there's like a little swampy area right here. Quite good for black tail. And then as you move north, like up in here is good too. This medium antler mission is driving me nuts. For axes here, I can't find any above 135. Then if I do, they're 200 plus and I can't get the shot to drop them. What's it got to be 100% harvest value? I'll be honest, I haven't messed with the missions in a bit. I bet that's him right there. Boy, there's a big male 50 to 95 behind him. It's not bad up to 330, but definitely not huge. Is anybody super close? I think we'll just blast him. Gotta time it up. I hear footsteps, but I think it's a cow. Your option is we just wait until he moves around, which is probably smarter. High racked white tail, there you go. <laughs> Using your brain, it's amazing what can happen. So I want to see. Yeah, that's not even the same bull. I think it's the one we saw, but we gotta track this heavy one too. Never played Classic. Is it an easy game to get into, or is there a lot of leveling up? Uh, I would say it's easy to get into, but like, there, there is a lot of like, skill leveling and stuff. So there's no like, leveling up per se. There's hundred scores, so if you look here, um, next to the names on the left, you'll see like, Flinter 53,021. Decker 2196. That's hundred score. Some people call it level in Classic, but it doesn't affect really anything. What matters is skills, and for weapons, you level up by, like, hitting your shot. So if you shoot a deer, you'll get some experience points for that weapon. And as you level up the weapon, the sway will, you know, go down. Thing is, uh, it is weapon-specific. So you level up your Parker Python, you level up your... Uh, 300, your 7 mil, all of them are going to be specific. And the same goes for animals. You have spotting skill and tracking skill. Those are going to be species specific. I find a lot of people who have played Call of the Wild love Classic, but it it does take some time to like level that stuff up. 301, we'll take that. And back on the trail. I find money difficult. Yet, um, missions are really good, 
for making GM in this game, especially like event missions. But as you move through the missions, you'll get to ones that require a certain weapon or a certain piece of equipment that you don't have. That can kind of slow you down. So then you'll probably move on to another pack of missions, go until you reach a point where you're uh, you know, up, up against a mission again where you don't own the item. Easy to learn, hard to master. That's a, that's a good uh, description of it. Yeah, it's really basic. It is. On a surface level. But there is a lot of, like, depth to it. You know, little nuanced things. I've talked about it before in videos, and I can never describe it. There's a way where you can identify if an animal's about to stop. So, like, if you're going for a bow shot, and you're drawn back, and you're waiting, like, do I shoot him on the walk? Do I wait? There's a, there's a thing you can see. There's a tiny, like, hesitation in the animation. That's a nice rhyme. But it's almost impossible to describe, and you only see that through lots of hours. Classic has the best doe calls as well. Then He's right, you know. Did they change how multiplayer works? I restarted my multiplayer, found a four-star kudu in the same herd. I don't think so. They may have. Bear barrel grinding is good GM source. Yeah, that's not bad. Bears are good. Magpie geese hunting is good. Snow geese hunting is good. It just depends, like, how you like to hunt. But yeah, uh, bear barrel is a good one. Because that doesn't take nearly as much equipment. I'd probably do, like, brown bear. I feel like you get better numbers. Maybe not. There were spots for brown bear that I used to get a lot. Any big moose? I don't think anybody's got a big moose yet. Got a four-star Cape Buffalo and what also may have been the same herd as before. Could be coincidence. I mean, I think we would have heard about that if they changed it because that was the way a lot of people only played the game was like spamming. It's a lot more difficult to find good animals on Classic and much more unpredictable... And that's why I personally think it's a much better game. The unpredictability is what makes it so good. I mean, you just never know. Like, there's almost diminishing returns in a way like in Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter. At least when it comes to, like, you know, making content or you hunt around for, let's say Way of the Hunter because of aging. You hunt around for three hours, four hours, five hours. The longer you go the less, like, new animals you're going to see, whereas aging might get you five stars as you're hunting around just, like, hoping to run into something that maybe you've never seen before. In Classic, if you're putting in that amount of time, like, those animals are gone once you end the session. So, you're giving yourself the best chance of finding something special that might be out there, and typically there is something decent. Will you ever return to the Black Bear Grind? I intend to. We'll see. I've been enjoying just, like, the wandering hunts lately. I still haven't completely recovered from the fallow grind. Once you're up to elite competitions, winning EM gets easier because fewer people can apply for the comp. I have quite a few whitetail and moose EM rewards from this exact map. Yeah, I found the same thing. It's generally like the competition's a little bit better, like people know what they're doing. But at the same time, there's less people to go against. I'm curious if this was an elk that we even saw, or if he just happened to be in the same area. I'm also really hoping he just bugles and makes our lives easier. What's up, Raisin? Uh, if you could shoot any animal in the world, what would you shoot? Caribou. Ideally in Alaska, but I'm not picky. As long as it's not like on a ranch in Texas. I don't think you can shoot caribou on like any ranch anywhere, but still. Just making that clarification. Goodness. That black bear's getting it. Uh, good way to make... Good way for a beginner to make money in classic besides missions. Uh, if it were me, I'd probably, like... 
so we're assuming you have like beginner weapons. I'd probably go to like loggers and just shoot as many deer as you can, at least until you get a better gun. And then maybe Valdeblau River runs. Because you can kill bears, red deer, roe deer, uh, I guess red fox if you keep your 243 on you as well. There's a lot of stuff out there that gives good GM rewards, but until you have a better weapon for the red deer, that's not a great option. I have the 300 and the 210 scope. Oh yeah, then, then Valdeblau River runs. If you don't want to do missions, that's what I would do. Or like if you have a bow, the um, the bear barrels, but you'd have to own a bear barrel too. Turkeys are good. Yeah, if you have a bow, turkeys are good. Same here, Fro. That was my favorite thing to do for years. Shadow's very sad. <laughs> you make some wild noises, dude. You want to sit up here? Is that what this is? Come on. When you main menu now after a bad shot, your animal dies? If the animal dies before you main menu, it's gone forever, yeah. I see some stuck elk. I'm kind of betting he's... Nah, I don't know. I don't think he should be with them. Are you growling at me? I think she wants to play. Vatabla is so scenic. It is a really pretty map. One of the oldest maps, too. That was, yeah, for like, once you had some tents set up or some uh, climbing gear, that was, that was such a fun way to hunt. Waterfowl and Classic, yeah, if you have the setup, it's a great way to earn GM, but it is expensive to get that setup. Let's see. Still roaming. We had to have spooked this thing. I never saw it. Unless it just... Veered right back up over the hill, but it doesn't look like it. If your animal dies before you main menu, it's gone forever? Yes. They basically changed it. Um, they've gone back and forth a few times because there's no winning. There's an exploit on either side of that. But I prefer that they did it this way. And fleeing. <laughs> How do you do a river run? Like, what time, where to start? So I would start at 8 a.m. Um, it's it's good and light by 8, so I, I'd start then. Start at the southern lodge. Run to the river. And you basically, you can run right down the center of the river. Just, you know, keep your eyes open. Spot all around. If you get calls, wait. Maybe call the animal in if you have the callers for them. And just shoot whatever you see. You can be pretty effective with a gun doing that. You don't even need to use a bow. What do you mean your animal's gone if you main menu? So, like, if you're playing Call of the Wild and you shoot something, an old exploit uh, was to main menu and get to retry the shot. You've probably seen some people do that. If the animal dies before you main menu, it's gone forever. Shadow says, don't main menu, it's lame. Are you a winning son? No, this elk's beating me. I'm trying to crawl now because he keeps getting away. Watch, that'll be a huge black tail shed. Uh, never mind, I accidentally clicked, so I'll never find out. Hey, Casey. Big fan, how many great ones do you have? I have 112. Uh, just go 91% one star adult cape. Oof. Big sad. Deleted my message? I have no idea, I didn't see it. Bork. She's literally, all she wants to do is, she has... So, uh, Kyla's sister brought her three toys. There was an owl, a dinosaur, and an octopus. The dinosaur was gutted within five minutes. The octopus has, like, two legs left. And she just wants to tug on all the discarded legs. And I'm pretty sure the owl's in perfect shape. Yeah, we're getting close to the end here, KC. Managed to do two hours of Call of the Wild, shot a troll red fox, you know, Emerald Trollst, at its finest. And now we're messing around with the 
classic comps. By the way, I don't know who... Oh, there's that guy. Yeah, about the same size as the other one. I don't know who won your comp. I tried. I got, like, maybe into the top 30. That takes care of that. Obsessed with Wave the Hunter at the moment? Good. An owl, a dinosaur, and an octopus walk into a bar. Biggest white tail in classic is a 201.6. We actually shot him on stream on May the 4th, 2022. Scared you. Oh, must have been through the stream. Smoked. He's got a 399 Rosie. That's nuts, dude. That's, all, that's like amazing and big oof at the same time. So close to 400. Nah, I got you, KC. I've been a little like... I know you were away, so like... Let me make clear, I'm not trying to be like, hey, what are you doing with your life? But I've been a little disappointed that not as many people seem to be as excited about their competitions. Like, I didn't see anybody streaming their comps for the most part. I streamed Mel's comp and your comp just to try to get some hype. Because I know Mel can't stream. She made videos on hers. Fish in the 20s in KC's comp just could not find a big one. Yeah, we couldn't get a good black tail that night that we did it. Back to Aurora Shores. Dude, I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm actually excited to go back to Aurora for our Melanistic Moose. Got about eight minutes. We can probably fast travel again, if not soon. Where would we want to go? Me. She thinks it's really funny when I do that. Would a tree stand help as a classic beginner? If you have collars and a bow, yes. If you don't... I mean, it can be helpful, but you're not going to like. It's not going to be a good method of earning money. Sure, we'll take another elk. Who needs fast travel? <coughs> Smallest whitetail in classic. So, your typical, like, small spike whitetail. I'll show you. It looks a little bit like... So, so say we're above it, like, looking down... Onto its forehead, like here's here's his nose, there's his ears, right? Uh, actually, I'm not gonna draw the rest of that. The <laughs> the antlers are like just this, whereas your spike blacktail and mule deer are just spikes. So blacktail and mule deer you can get like 20s. Whitetail will always score in the 30s, but if you get a sticker, you can knock that down below 30 and get a 20 something whitetail. I have never done that. <laughs> I'm looking around for an elk call in Africa, nice. Super into doing TK's comp. Dude, I had so much fun with that. I really wish I could have pulled out first place, but the guy in first had a 200 and a 194 or something. It was nuts. Get your mind out of the gutter. What? I didn't do nothing. There goes the monetization. <laughs> well. I guess only flans is still an option. What's up, Action Dragon? We're doing good, man. We're running into the last couple minutes here in Classic. We're going to try to smoke this last elk, and we'll see where we are now. But it's been good. Killed a couple 300-plus elk. Got to talk about the competition. Seems like a lot of you guys are doing the comp, which is awesome. I'm excited to see, like, total um, participation. I said it earlier in the stream. I'll say it again here. I want to see if we can get, like, the best competition participation. Just as, like, a, a thank you to EW. Because I think it's really cool what they're doing for the community. Not only because, like, you know, hey, me, 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 me kind of thing. Like, it's not just because I have a weapon in the game. I think it's awesome they're incorporating creators. And I hope that if they see, like, a success through this event and, you know, a lot of participation, that they'll add future creators. Like, as they get more partner creators, more and more can participate. Because I think that'd be awesome for the community as a whole. <laughs> I'm going to do some Wade the Hunter Africa. Nice. Are you going to go back to Call of the Wild? Not today. Um, we're going to wrap up the stream probably in the next five minutes. I wouldn't be shocked if this elk's sleeping. Give it a little longer. <laughs> Can I enter it in a minute when I head inside? Sounds good. Uh, when you tell people you're a content creator, do you get odd looks? No, but actually I'll tell you a little story. 
Because this is generally what happens. Anytime that someone asks, like, what I do for a living and I say it's YouTube, it's the same encounter I had literally today. So I got a, uh, a letter in the mail this past week that I got selected for jury duty in the middle of October. Literally the week I'm supposed to be in West Virginia hunting with Bottom Boy. And I was like, oh my god. Like, that's the one week we can do it. The first week of Archer, we get to hunt here in PA. That's generally, like, our best time to kill a couple of does. Then we go to, down to West Virginia. That's kind of the dead week. Come back. It's muzzleloader season. It works great for content. It's already scheduled, you know, like... Problem if I can't... <laughs> if I can't make it to West Virginia. We have sponsors that are, like, expecting me to be there. Like, Darton's expecting me to be there. It's one of my best chances to fill a buck tag. The whole nine yards, right? So I called, and I was like, okay... This is going to be weird to explain. They're like, I make YouTube videos, and I have a scheduled hunt down there during that week. So, like, what do I do? And literally, this happens every time. They're just like, oh, how'd you get into that job? Like, how does that work? How do you get paid? And it's just it just turns into, like, explain my job <laughs> every time. They spelled your name wrong, did they? Hold on. Previous comps. It's gonna take me 12 years to find it. Did they miss the end? Did they do the same thing I did? What kind of switches do you have in your keyboard? I think yellow. Oh, hey, there's the rest of the gutted octopus body. They, they hit me up for jury duty four times in the last 10 years. It's supposed to be like, what, every three years at maximum, I think? Oh, with an I. Oh, see. That's... I didn't even notice that. That's big unfortunate. I didn't even, I feel bad that I didn't catch that. <laughs> okay. I thought we'd see him sitting down here. It's got to be bedded. Just got to keep our eyes open. <laughs> Jeez, Danny. You gotta be careful saying that. Next thing you know, you'll, you'll have uh, committed suicide in a really not normal way. Still tracking the same elk? No, we killed that one. He was a 330. Uh, one bugle down here. A new one. And I'm thinking it must have bedded down because we're kind of later into the hunt. And I can't seem to find it. That's what you get. Like, normally... If I'm really on it, I marked the location where I get a call, but I didn't do it this time. It's right around here. To Mr. FBI agent. <laughs> First stream I've caught in almost three years. Glad to finally make one from Italy. Well, I'm glad you can make it. Unfortunately, we are coming towards the end here, but hopefully we can kill a thing or a couple of things here before we uh, wrap up. I don't understand where this elk is. Like, there's no tracks or anything. We do have a fast travel still in us. So even though we had a cow elk call over there, maybe we'll do that. Let's go all... This is going to cost five camping supplies. There better be a buck up here. Thank goodness. Is the Mocha Moose a mission animal? Yes. Gone for two minutes and this is what I come back to? It's what happens. We're four hours in, things go to chaos. I died for the joke. Got EM? What, for like the camping supplies? I usually buy them with GM, to be honest. Don't mind Shadow absolutely destroying that crunchy toy. Hopping on Classic now. Nice. Hey, is Aggie thinking of the 56 months? What would be... What, four months till the... Five twelves? I can't think of the word. What is this? This is... The Classic stream. You know it would be awesome if this was a not typical? That'd be cool. I have a proposition? Okay. <laughs> 
spotted my first ever classic bear. Nice. Just make sure he's coming this way. Uh, the goat, thanks for becoming a shusty, by the way. Very much appreciate that. It seems like the member alerts have decided not to work today, so hopefully at least that alert is there in the chat. But yeah, appreciate you, man. If you're on the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up for YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff, and enjoy the emojis uh, here in chat and the green name. Which way the hunter mission? Okay. Have a four star hyena. Ooh, nice. I had a couple three stars and I was dumb and I didn't mark where they were. And now I forget. What are we going for? Basically, uh, we're trying to kill one final black. So there's a competition running in Classic right now in which you can win this lovely looking bow right here. I like it a lot. It is for the highest combined total of your biggest blacktail, whitetail, and mule deer. And uh, I wanted to stream and essentially like, you know, help anybody out with questions and stuff. Came here to Red Feather Falls. We've actually shot quite a few things. We're almost at 20 harvest in the last two hours. The animal I want most is a five-star hyena. I wish it was the females because that would be a little more realistic. Female hyenas get bigger than males. But I get why they, like, didn't break the mold. Everything else is male. So the doe is coming in. How long did it take you to get the 135 right. chocolate fallow deer mission? I haven't done that one yet. I should. I haven't. Five-star kudu or blue wildebeest? I'll tell you what, the, the kudu are pretty darn cool. If you find a five-star kudu, call it in. I appreciate it for its big maleness. Pray that I get a higher-scoring white-tailed mule deer. I hope you do, man. I w let me let me see the competition again while we're just sitting here. What's the top entry? Five ninety-two. That's a good entry. What does that guy have? Let's let's look at it. Oh my God, he's top forty hunter score in the world. This man's going for it. So he's on Timbergold, so I'm assuming he shot a big mule deer. Two thirteen. Eh. It's the best one I see. And then his prior hunt. Got a one kill hunt on settlers. Was that a big male? There's our buck. As we're just perusing the launcher. They nailed the kudu, they really did. Oh my god, he got a 184 whitetail on Settlers. What a champion. And then his blacktail must be from Redfeather. A 194. Dude's just going for it. But you can still, like, you get a 190 blacktail, which I think everybody who really tries for this should be able to manage a 190 blacktail. They're not terribly rare. You could get, like, say, a 230 mule deer, and you only need a 160 whitetail to be where he's at. Still very, very reachable. <laughs> I have a feeling it's male hyena you hunt mostly in real life, then it's often female gemsbuck to get hunted. Yeah, the the gemsbuck could have also been females. Could have been both. Like, I don't, I don't, well, maybe. The thing with, fe I, I actually, I think I got it. The reason they probably couldn't do females is the way the game works at the moment, your female population is actually relevant. And if you were encouraged to shoot them, that would screw stuff up. Think both would be best? I do too, but I, I think I do understand maybe why they haven't done that. There was like an 85% chance we didn't drop that. I have such a hard time with a black deal. Boy, is that the truth, Reinhardt. That is absolutely it. I say we just blast this guy with a gun. We're past 7 o'clock. Can call it a stream. Just haven't got my colors leveled up since when you had to get females. Oh, really? 
it took it took a while for me to get to that, but I finally just bit the bullet and shot a bunch of does. If I'm already a member, can I buy more months, or do you have to wait for it to run out? Uh, it's on Twitch you can do that. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube or not. You can set it like auto renew, but I don't know if you can like get months out ahead. But I think we are gonna go ahead and grab this buck. That's gonna be 19 harvest. Not too bad for a little over two hours in classic. <laughs> a demon buck, 66.6 kg. But that was fun. One of these days we'll have to do another like combined classic and call the wild stream. I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah. Flinter competition. There's going to be a bit of a guide tomorrow for Blacktail, Whitetail, and Mule Deer. At least how I would approach the competition if I were competing. And we'll see. I'm looking forward to seeing how much participation we get. If you guys have any questions, feel free to tag me in Discord. Um, comment on the YouTube videos. We shall do our best to answer all those. And uh, yeah. I think on that note, that's going to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks so much for hanging out for an extended stream today. And I will see you in said tomorrow's video with our competition guide. Bye!